um, I didn't mean to scare you. It just, um, uh, my, uh, mom told me to come in here and, uh, speak to you. Uh, I'm new here and, um, I'm pretty sure you're my step bro or something like that. Do you mind if I take a seat right here? Ah! Oh my god, I'm really sorry. Um, uh, where are my manners? Um, my name is Emily. God damn, boy, you kind of cute. But my bad, um, yeah, I'm just gonna go in the other room, uh, if you, if you need me. Um, I'll be in there. So, yeah, if you need me, come in there. What the f- Oh, hey, Stealth, bro. What are you up to? Oh, you're watching me doing my squats? Would you like me to squat on that d- Nothing. I'm finna go make dinner. Do you want anything? Do you like sausages? Because I really love sausages. Let me see your sausage. Wait, are you sure? What do you mean you're not hungry anymore? Hey! What? You don't want any- Really? Ah! Stealth, bro! Help me! Come on, grab me by the waist, Stealth, bro, and pull me out. Come on, just pull my pants- I bet- Just pull me by my waist and get me out of here, Stealth, bro. Motherfucker, pull out that joint and then stick it in my- I'm outside with it. What's up, bro? God damn! Bro! You got knocked the fuck out! Bro, who gave you a black eye? A bully did that? That nigga beat the horn swabble shit out of you. Man, um, who was this young man that did this? No one does this to my brother on my watch. Oh, that's him over there? Bet. Hey, bro, who the fuck you think you is to put your... God damn. <laughs> shit. Nothing, nothing. I just, I lost my goddamn grandma. And I can't find her nowhere under here somewhere. It's the motherfucker that punched you in the eye? What the fuck? I don't mean to disturb your presence. Um, I'm sorry that my little brother was acting like a such a dumbass bitch. And so happened to fuck with you in any type of way of certain order because, yeah, that's just, that's just, that's just fucking wrong, you dumbass bitch. Why don't you fuck with this guy? He did absolutely nothing to you. Bro, he literally raped me in the bathroom. What's your dumbass son. I'm telling mom on you. Uh... Yeah, um, I'm on your side, man. I'm on your side. Um, fuck that little bitch. I'm on your side. Get in the truck and let's go. I don't even know why you over here fucking with that big ass, grown ass, little little kid ass man. And you know what, bro? As I'm like, as I'm experimenting, and as I'm really stroking it, like I'm going back and forth with it, and I'm working on my flow with it. This motherfucker got the nerve to say, "Oh, is it in yet?" Let me remind you, bro. I'm giving her everything I fucking got, bro, for real. Anyway, scratch all that. Um, you still trying to go to that Mandingo party? Like, I'm still down for it. Oh, did you see that fucking girl that just walked by? Oh, that's your next door neighbor? Bro, put me the fuck on! Oh shit, she's only 13? Damn. I really wish I gave a fuck. Bro, I don't give a damn. I need to be on that as soon as... Nigga, did you see that ass? Did you see that ass? For a 13 year old, that's a lot of ass. Dude, so what, I'm 19. Who really gives a fuck? Like, let's be honest. Bro, I don't give a fuck if she was three. I don't care. I need that. You know what? Don't worry about it. I'm going to handle this myself. Thank you for putting me on, bro. What? No handshake? Bro, it's fine. She's only 13, bro, and I'm 19. What's the worst that can fucking happen, bro? Ah! She said she was 12! Get your black ass down! Hey, boys. Y'all ready to start practice? Big Mike! <laughs> Look at thick as always. Wait a minute. Get your ass out this fucking truck now! Parson, it's cover fucking three! What the fuck you do on cover three? What? Take off! Take off! You son of a bitch! You can't obey me here just like you can't obey at home! Now, Big Mike, that's how you do it. <laughs> hey, son. Get fucking better. Mother! Hey, son, come here. Come here. I'm gonna put my Johnson in your ass. Oh, I got some words for you when we get in that motherfucking truck. Matter of fact, when we get home, you get butt-ass naked. All right, y'all, break it in. Carson, get in the truck! These guys, don't be like Carson, all right? 
That, yeah, that's my son and shit, but he's not worth the fuck. Are you really gonna make me look like an ass out there? What's up, bro? Good, bro. Motherfucker, I'm e Oh, watch out, watch out. What's up, bro? Yo, what's good, my nigga? Oh, I can't say that, can I? Nah, you good, bro. You yeah, good, bro. All right, all right, man. Yo, just the man I was looking for. What's, what's up, up bro? bro? What's good, bro? Hey, bro, Sarah's having a fucking party tonight? Bro, we should totally bomb that shit, dude. Yo, bet, bro. I hey, pop out. Hey, I got you, bro. Beer's on me, dude. Hey, bet, dog. on me, dude. All right, bro. Yo, Caleb, what's Yo, up, bro? what's up, bro? Hey, bro. How you been, man? I've been, I've been hey, good, you been, bro. Man? I've been good. Hey, bro, um, you still down to stay for the night? You know, uh, uh, right class, you. you know, she's being a bit of a bitch. You know uh, no, that girl, that girl is such a whore. I bet. Hey, you know where my phone number is, bro? You know we're locked in, bro. Yeah, Just bro. Just hit me up, bro. All right, man. Oh! 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 Whoa! What the fuck? Babe! You got knocked the fuck out! Babe, it looked like a bunch of bears and tigers and shit got to fight. Looked at you and whooped your ass. What the fuck happened? Babe, who did this shit to you for real? Oh, a guy did this to you. <laughs> okay, okay. Oh, he did this because you walked by him. He slapped you on your ass and you turned around and slapped him. So he punched the shit at you. Okay. Okay, he just don't know who the fuck he messing with. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, babe. Tell me what he look like so I can get ready to punish this motherfucker. Ah, ah, ah. What? what you mean he 7'2 and got big muscles and shit? Huh? What the fuck? He got the Johnson of a horse? You mean to tell me you got into it with Shaquille O'Neal? You know what? Fuck that. I can still take him. I can still take him. I can still take that motherfucker. He outside went for me? Bet. Don't worry, babe. I'll show that motherfucker not the... The fuck? Babe, who is this? This the dude that hit you? Fuck out of here, bitch. Our relationship is over. How you doing, sir? <laughs> this happens to be a very misunderstanding. Um, uh, my name is Lambert. If you want my social security number, the password to my bank, um, you got it, sir. <laughs> What's up, bro? What's up, bro? God damn. Damn, bro. Who this is right here, bro? <laughs> That's your girlfriend. <laughs> Anywho, how you doing, Snuggles? Wait a minute. That's your girlfriend for real? Yeah, bro. Let's just go in the house. Ugh. Wait a minute, bro. Did I lose my ten thousand dollars out there? Oh, you didn't see it. My bad. My bad. <laughs> so, baby, what your name is? Bro, tell out, tell out. What the fuck you say? Oh shit, you say you were cold? Oh, huh, I got you. <laughs> that ain't nothing. Huh, you can have this. Huh, take the jacket since you're cold. Matter of fact, you can have these pants too. Bro, what the fuck? I could've, bro, I could've sworn I had the key to my scat, bro. What the fuck? Where the hoes we? <laughs> hey, bro, you remember you told me you had a small dick? Hey, my bad, bro. Hey, it just, you know, I remember the time we was in the bathroom and we measured our shit together and, uh, my end up being 15 inches and your end up being three. Say what, bro? For real? Damn, that shit crazy. When that motherfucker came in? I bet, bet. <clears throat> hey, bro, I gotta head to the crib. My $200,000 um, Rolex just got in, and yeah, I gotta go try that motherfucker on. All right, bro. <laughs> All right, Schlugums. Hey, before I go, you mind if I get your number? You mind if I go to the movies with my friends? What the fuck? Why? Why the fuck am I on punishment? Cause the dog did a backflip while chasing the cat. What the fuck that gotta do with me? 
way! <laughs> Let's fucking go! I'm winning! I'm win Mom, what the fuck? Why are you taking my game, Mom? Our neighbor, Mr. Jones, got caught playing with Dash Johnson. Mom, what in the actual, literal, gargantuan, Bartholomew, or Starlemuel fuck does that have to do with me? How we was under the bleachers and she sucked. What now, Mom? What are you taking my phone for? You taking my goddamn phone because the sun ain't out. Mom, what the fuck? You damn near took my whole fucking life. Now I can't watch TV? Cause I got an A in every class. It's your black ass back here, mom! Woo! Good practice, boys, and we're gonna pick it all back up tomorrow. And make sure y'all come butt at Big Tear! Here! Now! Big Tear, I'm not happy. At all! Big Terry, where the, where the fuck you been at, man? You been out a whole week straight. What the fuck is going on, man? Oh. <laughs> so you're telling me you missed a whole week of practice because you were fucking sick? Hey, does that look like a fucking valid excuse to tell me? Or why the hell you missed a whole week of practice? Terry, look, listen, I need you, man. I don't give a fuck about no sickness, none of that. That's some shit a punk bitch ass black boy would say. You're my backbone, man. I need you. I look at you late at night when I take showers, man. Don't let this shit happen again, man. And I fucking mean it. Anyway, man, what the fuck had you so goddamn sick? <laughs> you had COVID-19? Take yo! Take yo! <laughs> Y'all boy, funny and full. <laughs> Look all it. Somebody in this bitch smell like straight donkey shit. I'm talking about straight donkey shit. Somebody in this motherfucker mustard and a motherfucker. God damn. Who the fuck is that? Who in the fuck smelling like that? Smelling like 10 cans or bounce that big old ass. God damn. Boy, when I find out who that is, I'm on your ass. I'm talking about I'm on your ass. Just like this smell <laughs> on your ass. I'm going to be on your ass if I find out who you is. Smelling like a goddamn pile of shit. <laughs> nah, you know what? Fuck that. Everybody raise their arm up. I'm going to go by and smell everybody. One by one. Come on, let's do it. Hey, Sarah, you ain't got to raise your armpits. Just let me see that ass. Say what, bro? You want me to, um... Lift up my armpit so you can smell me. Yeah, sure, bro. Woo! Shit! We got him! We got that big musty <laughs> motherfucker! Yeah! God damn! Boy, your ass smell like shit! Woo -hoo -hoo. Woo -hoo -hoo. My goddamn nose for the fall off! What, what the fuck? <laughs> y'all boys ready? That first one we had was so fucking lit. All right, y'all boys, let's get this show on the road. <laughs> 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 My car just fucking with me, that's all. Come on, fucking start! Come on! Fucking start! <laughs> Why are you doing me like that? <laughs> Elijah, shut the fuck up! It's not funny! <laughs> Come on, baby! Why won't you start? My car! 
my only car! <laughs> Elijah, shut up! What you say? You need jumper cables? Bet, I got you, baby. Hey! Somebody bring me some goddamn jumper cables! My dad is gonna put his face in my. Hey, daddy, um. I'm kinda in the, um. I'm kinda in a fender bender right now. Mm -hmm. Uh. Dad. My car won't start. What the fuck? Dad, what do you mean? It's not my fucking fault! You know what, Elijah? Since you think you're so funny, walk home! Walk home! Hey, ladies, how y'all? What the fuck? Oh, my mama, y'all got me fucked up. What the fuck y'all play down to you? Oh, uh, but no! The ugly ass bitch, you got me fucked up. Popping all them goddamn balloons like that look good. Y'all ugly as fuck. Oh, no! Die. This how y'all gonna do me? Ain't hey, none of y'all gave me a chance. Everybody on this live part they balloon. Hey, man, don't use Get back to that fucking ah! line. Ah! Ah! Y'all wrong. And y'all know y'all wrong. Ah! Be honest, am I ugly? Hell the fuck yeah. Who said that shit? Oh, bro, this video is fucking over. Hell no. Matter of fact, you gonna go on here, you gonna go on your fucking camera, and you gonna delete all that shit. Either delete that shit, or I'm gonna delete everybody in this bitch. Y'all hold trifling, bro. And don't even none of y'all got a job, bro, and y'all wanna pop y'all fucking balloons. Let's go band for band, bitch. Matter of fact, let's go bullet for bullet. Ain't nobody leaving this bitch until y'all blow y'all balloon back up and say I'm the sexiest man alive. Try me. What's up, bro? Oh shit, chilling, bro. Um, what you got going? Oh, you trying to go to the movies? Sure. That's a bet. That's a bet. But then you go to the movies last night? No, no, no. Don't worry about that. Don't worry about how I know. Then you go to the movies last night? And where the fuck I was? Huh? Where the fuck I was? That's right. I was here. Playing with my dick. That's not it. That's not it. On April 9th, 3.43 p.m., 2024 Eastern Time. Why the fuck are you was at McDonald's? Why the fuck you was at McDonald's without me? You know I love that shit. Hell, I am a Big Mac, motherfucker. But you know what? I don't even care about that. Because the next day, around 1.30, actually 1.32, Hey, young, Central Time, you was at my girl house. Explain to me why you were in that location. Oh, <laughs> y'all were playing Simon Says, right? <laughs> All right. Uh, hey, um, I didn't mean to scare you. It just, um... Uh, my, uh, mom told me to come in here and, uh, speak to you. Uh, I'm new here and, um, I'm pretty sure you're my step bro or something like that. Do you mind if I take a seat right here? Ah! Oh my god, I'm really sorry. Um, where are my manners? Um, my name is Emily. God damn, boy, you kinda cute. Oh, my bad, um, yeah, I'm just gonna go in the other room, uh, if you, if you need me, um, I'll be in there. So, yeah, if you need me, come in there. What the fuck? Ah! 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 Oh, hey, Stealth Bro. What are you up to? Oh, you're watching me doing my squats? Would you like me to squat on that d Nothing. I'm finna go make dinner. Do you want anything? Do you like sausages? Because I really love sausages. Let me see your sausage. Wait, are you sure? What do you mean you're not hungry anymore? Hey! What? You don't want any- Get away back here! Ah! Stealth bro! Help me! Come on, grab me by the waist, Stealth bro, and pull me out. Come on, just pull my pants. I bet- Just pull me by my waist and get me out of here, Stealth bro. Motherfucker, pull out that Johnson and then stick it in my- Gucci Gucci Goo! Oh <laughs> Let me tickle pickle. your pickle! <laughs> uh, oh! Everybody! Shut the fuck up! Now let me get something fun!
motherfucking straight. You motherfuckers act like y'all don't know when to stop. This is dick and bottom. Has been complaining to me over and over about y'all fucking behavior. Now act like that while I'm right here. Y'all pull that shit. Now she shouldn't come to me complaining about what the fuck are you doing. Because I got other shit to tend to. I got an all up butt ass nigga. Yup, right. Come with me. Come with me. Yeah, your ass gonna be all up in ISD. Who else wanna join her? Don't let me have to come back on this fucking bus ever again. And if she, if she even think about coming to me about what the fuck y'all did, I swear to God. I swear to God. I promise you, this shit gonna be worse than Diddy. Y'all ain't seen shit yet. I kidnap all y'all ass and, and make y'all get butt ass nigga to start twerking. Elijah, I already seen your justice. You, know, you might wear well throw lightly. Woo, shit. I'm finna get my salad toast tonight. Hey! Yeah! I still got it! Yeah! Yeah! Hold oh, up. What Carson ass hit? Carson! Get your! God damn. You long and thick, just like your dad. <clears throat> get up so I can lay down some rules before I leave this house. For one, don't call me for shit! Because y'all have food right here, alright? Look at this shit Oreos. Mayonnaise and chicken broth is all you fucking need, okay? Don't call me for shit! See this? Don't fucking touch that! If you do, I'ma touch the tip of your dick. And last thing, don't open this fucking door for nobody. Do you fucking hear me? I don't give a fuck if it was Jesus himself. Don't open this goddamn door. All right, I'm gone. Here I come, daddy. Wait. Hey, I left my keys. Open the door. Open the goddamn door. Yo, 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 what's good, y'all boys? Yo, what's up, Carson and his friends? Everything going all right? Y'all need anything? Kids, if y'all need anything, hey, just let me know. You know, I used to be a real party roster right back in the day. Hey, y'all boys want anything? What the fuck? Are you kids fucking vaping? Sorry, kids, but vaping is Shut not the fuck up, old man! I am going to stick my Johnson. So far, bitch, I... Give me one minute. Martha, they done lost their motherfucking mind! They were son of a bitches! It's not that big of a deal. We don't do that bullshit! They try to walk through little sweet ass around here acting like they smoking some fucking dope. But it's just electrified bullshit! You know what, Martha? You shut the hell up. I'm going to have a talk with you. <clears throat> I'm gonna have to ask you guys to leave. See you guys later. Have a good time. You little short brown son of a bitch! Carson, I don't want to never, ever, ever in my life see you with them again. They're a bad influence and they're not worth the shit. I don't want to see them over here again and I don't want to catch you with them. End of the discussion. I'm telling you motherfuckers right now, I got the one with the big ass booty and the pretty face. <laughs> I'm so fucking ready. All right, boys. This is where boys become men. <laughs> What's up, ladies? <laughs> hey, I'ma just say it right now. I got y'all two on the end. You, you ugly as fuck. Wait, what you mean? Those two are with y'all and I'm with her? Come bring your thick ass over here, Snuggums. Get your fat, stinking, flat booty ass the fuck away from me! Listen, ma'am, I don't think you understand. I wasn't supposed to be with you. I was supposed to be with the baddest bitches. And you are not one of them. Now look at this shit. I'm stuck with your ugly ass, and I'm supposed to be in there having fun with some bad bitches like that is. I'm stuck for that shit, man. I promise you they wrong as fuck. And they hyping my fucking head up, talking about some you look like Beyonce. Bitch, where?
You know what? Fuck it. And don't try to hit me up to do this shit no more! <laughs> Girl, that boy's so goddamn dumb. It don't make no fucking sense. What stupid motherfucker got an elf at lunch? What kid got an elf at... Girl, let me call you back. What the fuck do you want? The fuck I tell you by getting my goddamn conversation, huh? Get your black ass in that goddamn room! Girl, let me tell you something. His draw shitty as hell. And I can't keep watching them bitches. Hey, girl, let me call you back right quick. Didn't I tell your goddamn ass by coming in here while I'm on the phone? Girl, let me tell you something. One time I went in the bathroom and he and he just choking that little chicken, girl. <laughs> and it was little, just like his damn daddy. Girl, let me call you back one more time. I done had this conversation with you over and over and over again. See, if you'll start coming in while I'm on the phone, your feelings won't be fucking hurt. Boy, don't nobody give a damn. You my damn child. I can talk about you all goddamn day if I wanted to. Hey, girl, I ain't gonna lie. I think my son a little sweet. Because one time I went through the phone, I seen that but eggplant. And it was just swipe. Mom, what the actual fuck? My name is Lambert Williams, and I'm a U.S. citizen. And I am getting pulled over by a cop right now. What the hell do you want? Sir, I'm gonna need your license and registration. For what? Because you were speeding. Driveway, sir. I'm gonna need you to step at the car. Why should I? Are you gonna do me like you do the rest of these young men? Take their pants off and suck the skin out of their. You know what? Fine. I get out the car, but back up from my vehicle. And I got the camera on you. So anything you wanna do, it's gonna get fucking. It's gonna get posted, and I'm gonna send it to your central office. So back up. <laughs> now what? You ought to be ashamed. Y'all look at this guy. He pulled me over for no reason. He's over here saying he's going to pull my pants down. Just look at him. This is exactly what he looks like. And to the law enforcement, this is who you hire? This is who you hire? Don't you touch me. You better not touch me. If you touch me, I ain't going to scream till I can't no more. And this video is definitely getting posted. Somebody help. Somebody help. He's Somebody help. Ah. Finally, I'm on break. Uh. <laughs> Giant horse conk weighs over 11 pounds. What the fuck? I'm telling you, bro. Shark Queen, she got one more time. She got one more time. If she flirt with me in that break room again, I'm going to put my face in her. I don't know. He he ain't giving me no ish owl, so shit. I don't give no fuck. But I ain't going to lie, though. If you do give me ish owl, I'm going to take it. I'm off tomorrow. I gotta feed my goddamn kids, boy. Got two more minutes. Fuck it. I'm gonna go ahead and take a little nap. Where am I? Where am I? Oh, shit. Wait a minute. And the parking lot is empty? <sighs> ah! I'm fired. I'm fired. I'm fired. I'm fired. I'm fired. What the f? What's up, bro? What's up, bro? Ah, what the move is for today? So, imagine I have a party this Saturday. Huh? Madison is having a party this Saturday. Huh? Madison is having a party this Saturday. What you say, bro? Madison is having a fucking party this Saturday. Be there. Dude, what the fuck? What did you say? I didn't hear you. <laughs> Yo, not gonna lie. I got an awesome ass movie we can watch. Yep, that's right. We're gonna watch XX videos. Big Black, Bibby Z versus Very Thick Ebony. Yep, that's the one. Hey, and before we start the movie, promise me, just fucking promise me, y'all are gonna pay attention. Every time I try to show y'all a new movie, y'all don't pay attention. Y'all stay on y'all fucking phones. So help me, if I catch you on that phone, 
I'm gonna suck your ass. All right, all right, the movie's about to start. <laughs> Bro, did you see that? Bro, are you serious right now? I literally had this talk with you before the fucking movie started. Put your fucking phone down, man, and pay attention. Oh my gosh, she's literally showing her melons. Bro, are you stroking your Johnson? See, bro, I tried to be fucking nice. And all I wanted you to do was watch the fucking movie. But nah, you can't even sit down and pay a fucking attention. Get up. Damn! The boss worked the fuck out of my ass today. Like, how the fuck you gonna make me eat something I don't wanna eat? Man, I don't wanna eat your ass! The fuck? Oh shit! I got an email from my bank. Let's see what they got in store for me. <laughs> the fuck? PlayStation. 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 Pa Epic Games. Carson. Turn that goddamn game off! Really? Just fucking really? Now I go to my bank account and all I see is $99 charged from PlayStation! From Epic Fucking Games! Have you been spending my money on Fortnite? Oh, you used my card. Because you didn't have any more money. <laughs> okay. 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 I get up every day and bust my ass for you to spend all my money on something I did not tell you to. Buddy, do me a favor and help me cancel all these damn credit cards. Wait a minute. And you spent $300 on Call of Duty coins? Bro, why are you crying? Bro, sit down. Come on, talk to me, man. So, bro, what happened? <laughs> you caught your girlfriend cheating with your dad? Bro, look at me. Oh! Whoa! 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 Wait, hold on, bro. Whoa! My bad, bro. But listen, everything's gonna be okay, man. I promise. I promise. Oh, my God! Bro, look at the size of this thing. Oh my gosh. Bro, don't you supposed to be comforting me right now? Put the ride away and comfort me. Yeah, you're right, bro. My bad. But, dude, you got to download that Fishing Master game. That is so rad. Bro. My bad. My bad. Woo! Let's go, boy. I'm finna beat the shit out of you. <laughs> Look at you, you weak as fuck. You ain't fucking ready. Let's go. Let's go. Ah! You're scared. You're fucking quiet. Let's fight. Well. I ain't gonna lie, bro. At least I wasn't scared. Bro, what the fuck? No way half of the school seen this already, bro. My life is ruined! Ah! Bro, you finna head out? All right, bet. All right, see you later, bro. Bro, be completely honest with me. Did I win or lose? Oh, I had got my ass beat. All right. Bro, stop fucking laughing. It's not funny. All right, Patrick. It's all in the technique. First go like this. Spin around, stop! Double take three times. One, two, three. And pepper thrust. Woo! Woo! Step on your right foot, don't forget it! Time to bring it around town. Bring it around town. Do this, then this, and this, then that, then this. This is nothing, this is that. And Thick ass bubble. Woo! God damn this shit long as fuck. I was good, bro. What you going over there eating? Oh no, and a piece of steak.
You're eating what? You're eating a piece of steak? Don't you ever eat no meat in my house! Have you lost your fucking mind? Do you fucking know what a cow and a horse has to go through to live on this piece of shit ass planet? <laughs> I cannot believe you right now. Like, as a brother of the animal family, you, you eat your own kind? Oh my God. Shut the hell up! Because you don't know what an animal has to go through for that shit, man. Look at him. Look at him. I'll be honest. Would you eat this poor koala bear if it was the last piece of meat on earth? Yep. Oh, you finna uh, you finna head inside right quick, bro. Whatever you do, please do not stay in there for a long time. It's already hot as shit, and your car got no fucking AC. So I'm just please, please, just just please come back, please. I'm begging you. I'm for real now. Don't leave me out here in this fucking car in the fucking heat. Three hours later. <sighs> This man did the exact opposite of what I fucking said! It's so fucking hot, man! Where am I? Wait, hold on. So you mean to tell me you left me in this hot ass car for three hours? You little shit. <laughs> and she was like, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Oh shit, hold on, bro. My dad's calling me. <sighs> What's up, dad? Shut your fat bitch ass up! You son of a bitch! I told you to have yeah, your ass yeah. in this motherfucking house! Oh, what time it is? It's um it's seven. It's seven thirty! You stupid motherfucker! I told you to bring your fat ass back in this house! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, tell my dad you said hi. Yo, dad, Bob said hi. Fuck Bob with his bitch ass. <laughs> you hurry up and come home because, ooh, boy. Ooh, 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 ooh. That ass getting all yeah, up yeah. tonight, baby. I'm coming <laughs> home now, dad. My dad said hi. Yo, no way I got an iPhone, bro. Hey, everybody, I got an iPhone. Let me FaceTime my homeboy right quick. <laughs> yeah, bro, remember all the times you made fun of me because I had an Android? Yeah, we here now, baby. Let me see your 12 inch slot. 1730, hey, hey. I'm like, hey, what's up, hello? Damn, what's Safari do? Oh. So this is how Safari works. <laughs> how do I forget my Apple ID and my password and I just got the phone? What the fuck? You will be missed. Oh, Snapchat gonna love this shit. <laughs> yeah, coach, I love you, baby. I'll see you tonight. <laughs> ah. Your coach has a big ass d <laughs> Son, I love you, boy. Five touchdowns? Five fucking touchdowns? Go. Tonight, I'm finna make your sister suck the fuck out your- Hold on right second. Let me talk to my son right quick. Anything you want from McDonald's? Matter of fact, fuck it. Hold on. Hey, man. Just give me the whole goddamn menu. I mean, shit, I understand you got five. But back in my day, I had got ten of them bitches. <laughs> Top that. I mean, the way you just caught the ball and just gripped it and just ran to the touchdown. That shit had me horny as fuck. Look out, everybody. We have a superstar coming through. This guy. <laughs> that big ass slut. No, 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 no. Oh! I can't do this. I can't.
I'm finna just go get the milk and I'm gonna run away. No way I'm having a daughter, bro. No! I'm not ready for this. I'm not. Like, there's so much that comes with a daughter, bro. She's gonna wanna have a boyfriend. Bro, what if she goes around school sucking? Not only that, all she gonna do is beg for shit. And last but not least, what if I come on and she got that ass tooted up? You got this, bro. You're gonna be an awesome dad. You got it. You got it. I don't got it. I don't got it. Nah, fuck that. I'm finna go buy a plan B and I'ma shove it right up my- Yo, son! Yo, son! Shaquille, I'm in here, butt ass! Son, what the fuck? Son! Why are you crying? Oh. You and your girlfriend broke up? Please. Um. <laughs> uh. Uh. Oh. So, um. Why did y'all break up? A video got leaked of her sucking another man's slut. Oh. So, let me tell you something. Um. Um. <laughs> uh. There is more to life than just girls, you know? And like, you can't just beat yourself up about that shit, man, for real. His was bigger than yours? Damn! You know what, son? All you gotta do is just take a look in the mirror and be like, I don't need that bitch. I don't need that bitch! Now get your ass up. And let's go get some ice cream. After we get done watching Shaquille on their butt ass neck. Just like your damn daddy. Get your ass up! I got a call from your teacher at school. And she tell me, you gonna pull up her dress and start wiggling your tongue. Don't worry about it. This will be the last time you ever do this shit. What the fuck? No, you did No, you fucking did it! I mean, hey, no one way. I need serious help. My son, he tried to hit me. And then after that, he tried to put his face in my. Sorry, I don't want to hear shit. Get in the goddamn locker room. So, someone tell me what the fuck's going on. Oh, so nobody knows? Okay, okay, okay. The score is fucking 86 to fucking. Two, y'all ain't worth a damn. If I hear one more sound, I'ma line y'all up and suck all y'all. And when practice come Monday, I'ma pull all y'all pads down and suck the bottom of y'all. Oh, y'all weren't ready to party. The fuck? How you gonna tell me to take my hood off? I don't give a fuck about it being 106 degrees outside. I'm not taking my hood off. I don't care. I don't care about it. I'm cold. I'm cold. I can't be cold. <laughs> Yo, bro, chill out. Bro, I'm not hiding nothing, bro. I just, I just want to keep my hood up because I'm, I'm cold. Okay, bro, fine. I'll tell you the truth. I got a haircut, but y'all will not be seeing it. Yo, <laughs> oh, bro, chill out. <laughs> hey, hey, bring your ass here. Hey, boy, come here. Let's see your goddamn phone. What the fuck? What the fuck you mean? Hold on, you gotta go do something right quick. Motherfucker, if you don't hand me that goddamn phone, so help me God, I'm gonna stick my tongue in your... Give me this goddamn phone, mother... Really? Just fucking win! What the fuck? Are you looking up big black BBCs? Hold up, let me go through these messages. Hey guys, I saw my mom twerking in the shower butt booty naked. Damn! What's up, little man? I mean, what's up, dad? What you say? What you say? Oh, shit. I can't
can't even fucking hear you from all the way down there. So, Dad, how's your day been going? I don't give a fuck, you short ass bitch. Oh, you get mad? You get mad? What you gonna do? What you gonna do? Come on! Come on! Come on! Hey, yo, Derek, I think I got some stuck in my. Are you cheating on my mom? Are you fucking crazy? <laughs> I gotta show her this shit. <laughs> Wait a minute. Is that Uncle Sam? <laughs> Wait a minute. Why you got a big ass? Can't wait to tell my mom about this shit. Mama! I don't give a fuck. I told you to fix my fucking weed her, man. This shit ain't worth a fucking damn now. What the fuck? No, what you got me is fucked up. This worthless piece of shit. What type of shit is, you know what? Shut the fuck up, I'm done with it. Hey, how you doing, ma'am? Oh, you need the directions to, um, to the store up there. All right, all right, so what you gonna do? Okay, when you, when you go straight, it's a little road. It's a little, it's a little road. It's like Fifth Avenue. All right, once you go down that road, you're gonna take a left. And when you take that left, you keep, hey, you keep going. You keep fucking going. Make sure you listen to me now. If you, when you take that left, if you take that right, your ass gonna be on the highway. When you take that left, keep going fucking straight. And I'm not playing, for real. And another thing, I should have told you this. All right, on that corner, it's gonna be a white house. All right, that white house, it's a white lady that stay there. If you don't, if you get lost right there, ask that lady because she know everything yet. You know how that shit goes. So, yeah. But like I said, when you see that white house on the corner, keep going fucking straight. Just keep going straight and you'll be there. You know what? I tell you what. If you get lost down there, come back right here because I don't want you to go on there. I don't want you to go down there and get fucking lost. So. If you go down there and if you get lost, come back right here and I get him a truck and I'll tell you where to go. I'll show you the way out. You look good too, by the way, man, with those big ass coconuts. Um, napping. Um, yeah. Um, like I said, keep going straight and if you get lost, back right here. You know where I'm at. All right, take care now. Take care. Elijah, shut your bitch ass up. <laughs> oh shit. Hey. What the fuck? You're our waiter? Elijah, do you see them big ass fucking melons? My bad, my bad. Uh, I like to drink. Uh, let me get a, a cup of your pee. I, don't, I mean, wait, no. Um, a cup of your spit. No, wait, a cup of water. Water. I want a cup of water. Just bring, just bring me some goddamn water. Shit. Elijah, did you fucking see that? Bro, that waitress is so fucking hot. Ain't no fucking way we got her. Then she got a nice ass, too. Fuck! Bro, bet you $20 I bag her. Bet you $20 I bag her. No, no, better yet. If I bag her, you gotta suck my... Bro, I would so let her play with my ass. Shut the fuck up, she's coming. Um, hey. Um, man, we're ready to pay. Fuck! I dropped my 20 bands, bro. Damn it. Yo, Elijah, have you seen my 20 bands, bro? Damn it, I was gonna use that to pay for our food because... I got a job and you don't have a job. You're a you're a local prostitute, so yeah. I was gonna pay for all our shit. Now I'm sorry, but your cat fat as fuck. Nothing, nothing. Um here's my bill. Hey ma'am, I got a surprise for you under this receipt. I wrote my number on it. Get the shit out of my goddamn face! Bro, I'm coming now, bro. I'm coming out the house right now, bro. Oh, bro, tell Diddy, wait, don't use no baby oil without me. Fuck man, yeah, I can't bro, be in the room. What? Mama said, I got a what? Oh, fuck no! Mama ain't say none of that shit! Hell no, nah, I'm finna call mama right now. Mama, you got me fucked to the up! Mama, did you say Carson had to call me? Mama, what the fuck? You know I got shit to do today! And you want this little motherfucker to come with me! Mama! Come on! Look, listen. 
Diddy's having a party and everybody's over there butt naked. There's no way he could come. You still want him to come? You know what? All right, mom. I got him. Bye. <laughs> come on. Shut the fuck up. Don't ask for shit. Don't say shit. Don't even fucking breathe shit. And don't even ask me to go take a shit. Give me everything you got, little bro. Get shot, get shot, get shot. You ain't got no skill. You ain't got no skill. Okay, I see you. Better make this count, boy. Good game, little bro. You fucking so. Sorry, ass bitch. Like, I just, I can't keep taking this shit, man. Like, every time I do something, it's a fucking problem. And I'm tired of that shit, bro, for real. Like, I can't do shit without you fucking complaining. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, you'll be all right. You know what? I can't take this shit no more. I'm done. It's over. All right. Uh, see you later. What? Um, <clears throat> I don't think I clarified it hard enough, but I said it's over. Like, <laughs> you know, we're breaking up. Like, after this, we're going our separate ways. You go this way, I go that way. And I'm never going to turn back or see you again. All right. Bye-bye. Now, like I said, I'm gone. I'm leaving. I'm adios. Why are you not pulling me and holding me back so I won't leave? Why the fuck are you not crying when I'm leaving? Like, you just sitting there smiling and shit. What the fuck wrong with you? You must been wanting to break up with me because this shit not adding up, dog. I fuck that. I'm staying. We not breaking up. That shit over with. No. Uh-uh. Because, like, why the fuck you so... Why the fuck you so lenient with why the fuck why the fuck you so lenient with me going? You must you must got another dude ready. You must be hiding ready for another dude. Cause what the fuck? Babe, please. <laughs> Babe, please, please. <laughs> Babe, please don't leave me. <laughs> please don't leave me, man. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I promise I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Hey guys, why am I looking so sad? Um, uh, lately I just been feeling like no one loves me, you know? Like, guys, be honest. Do you guys really care about me? Like, do y'all still fuck with me, man? Like, really? Fuck, man! Damn! Just realized I don't have a dad. Am I okay? <laughs> yeah, I'm okay. It just realize you don't have a dad, like it leaves you fatherless, you know? Fuck, oh, bro! Damn man, I have no fucking friends, man. Fuck. Really? I don't have nothing to worry about because y'all got my back. Yeah! <laughs> take it anymore. I can't. No one loves me. <laughs> I'm so lonely and depressed. Like, I just have nobody. Ugh, this shit nasty. Fuck. Oh, man. I don't have nothing to worry about. You guys are here for me? Thank y'all, man. Thank y'all. All right, y'all boys, y'all ready to go? Yo, this road trip is going to be so fun. I can't wait till we get there. We finna see some honeys, party, suck some dick. Wait a minute. What the fuck? 
Oh, hell no. I'm about to lose my mind in this bitch, bro. I'm about to lose my mind in this bitch, bro. For real. Where the fuck is my bait? I just had that motherfucker. Where is that? I swear on my mom, on sweet baby Jesus. Ain't nobody leaving this motherfucking car. And I'm not leaving this motherfucking spot until I get my shit. Maya, get your ass up. Get up! Let me see if my vape in your ass cheeks. Because there's a lot of shit in there. <laughs> I'm about to flip this bitch upside down, bro. I promise you. <laughs> it's over with. I'm done. It's over. <laughs> I'm never going to be myself again. <laughs> Wait a minute. Never mind, guys. I found it. I found it. So, um, <laughs> are you full? Type shit. <laughs> so, baby, like, <laughs> what you trying to get into? What the fuck? You do realize we just came from a date, right? And you do realize that that shit was expensive as fuck, right? And you do realize that I paid for all that shit. And all you had to do was show your black ass. So now that you realize all that, um, why I can't get no ass? Because you're not ready for all that yet. <laughs> Girl, you are hilarious. I don't give a fuck. Get butt ass naked right now. Are you fucking serious right now? I done did all this shit. Pay for every fucking thing. I even picked you up. And you just... You not even gonna give me no ass? Really? You can at least suck my ass. Fuck! Out of every fucking thing I did for you. Everything! That shit is just file. You only took me on one date. Get out. Get out! Get out! <laughs> uh, what's up, bro? Um, I think it's getting kind of dark outside, so, um, yeah. Uh, nothing, bro. Your foot off my damn couch. Ugh. 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 Damn. <clears throat> Fuck, man. I'm getting kind of sleepy. <coughs> damn. Get sleepy as fuck. Bro, do you not have a ride home? Because if you don't, let me know. I'm more than fucking welcome. I'm talking about more than fucking welcome to take you to fuck home. Oh, you go wait to your mom? Cool, cool. It's never too late to say goodbye. Oh, oh. Never too late to say goodbye. Ay, ay, ay. Yo, bro, what time your mama get out work? Oh, she get off at 10 o'clock? <laughs> That's cool. That's cool. Bro, oh my God, I just thought about something. We got school tomorrow, and you know, your house is right around the corner, so like, you can really just walk home, and you know, yeah. Wait, 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 wait! I got an even better idea. How about you take your ass home, and then we can get on the game, and then we can communicate like that. So there's nobody you can call to come pick you up, because, like I said, I'm more than fucking welcome to take your black ass home. You know what, bro? I'm tired of being around the bush. Come here, come here. Follow me, come on. Get your ass up. Follow me. Follow me right now. Go the fuck home and don't come back. Person, did I tell you to get this shit? Oh, shit. Um.
Carson, you didn't tell me you had company over, <laughs> little man. Oh, that's your girlfriend. <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah, my son's not gay. So, bud, how long have you and her been hanging out? Oh, all day. Okay, okay. When does she plan on going home so I can, you know, take her home or whatnot? This brings me so much joy. She's spending the night? Oh, okay. Well, um, make yourselves comfortable. And, um, ma'am, if you ever need anything, I'm the guy to call. <laughs> Um, I didn't want nothing. Um, just making sure you guys good. Um, I wasn't just creepily watching y'all just to see if y'all were gonna make a move or something. I wasn't doing that. <laughs> Pull your Johnson now. Pull your jo Oh, nothing. Um, do y'all want something to eat, Carson? <laughs> May I have a word with you, dude? What the fuck? You're acting like you're scared. Come on, get in there. I taught you better than that. Go for the kill shot, man. Get in those draws. Come on, dude. I'm saying uh, at the end of the day, you got to realize everything's going to be... No, out. fuck, it's not! It's not! Mm -hmm. My mama just got ran over by a train. And you think everything's going to be okay? I caught my boyfriend cheating with my dad. My daddy! How am I supposed to get over that? Tell me! Tell me, bitch! You fat motherfucker! Are you okay? No, I'm not! I am not! I can't, bro! I can't! Damn, my dog got ran over by a tractor! Come on! Back in my life, yeah! Oh, you think it's funny? I'm gonna show you what's no, funny. No, no. <laughs> and for our next person, we have Lambo Television. God damn. Thought y'all got to shoot in this motherfucker. <laughs> Damn. So, bro, tell us your name again. Uh, my name Lambo, you know. Uh, you know. I work out and stuff. <laughs> uh, you know. Uh, I'm six one. Yeah, you could have been taller. Plus, you're a fat ass. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, y'all beautiful as fuck, you know? <laughs> I'm sorry, but you're too fat, and you're ashy, and you're ugly as fuck. Motherfucker, you sound like a man! What's up, little dude? Uh, um, uh, so, um, you, um, been playing Call of Duty? Oh, I took your game. Uh, forgot about that. Um, how's your girl doing? Oh, you call her sucking your best friend's Johnson. Oh. Sorry to hear about that. Look, man, I didn't want to have to do it to you, but you you left me no choice. Pulling your teacher's pants down? 
and smelling her ass? Really? And you know you wrong. And I had no choice but to whoop your ass. That shit hurted me. More than it hurted you. You know how bad that shit hurt? But me. Get up, get your clothes on, clean your room up a little bit. And let's go to the strip club. You heard I said, get your ass up and come on before I change my mind. And before your mama come on. Oh, fuck! Oh, fuck! Do you have on my Warriors jersey? You sick motherfucker! What gives you the right fucking mind to put your body on my shit? Do you see me walking around with your mama underwear on? Okay, listen, you shut the fuck up. Don't set foot in my shit. No more. Wait a minute. Are those my fruit of the looms? Come back here, you, you sick little fuck. Hey, bro. What's good, Twin? I have costumes like this. <laughs> oh, fucking shit. He's gonna whoop your fucking ass, dude. Yeah. Hey, stay over there. But, um, Caleb, he having a fucking party over. Stay over there. Caleb, he's having a fucking party over there in Columbus and shit. Stay over there. Um, he invited me, so I think we should go. And plus, he said, stay over there. And plus, he said it's gonna be mad naked bitches over there, bro. Real? Yes. Bro, God damn! Can you not walk straight? Go ahead, bro. Ooh. 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 Yo, bro, are you using the bathroom? Yo, bro, are you finna wash those clothes? What the fuck you just asked me? Nah, I'm washing my ass. Yo, bro, are you finna wash those dishes? Nah, I'm finna stick this spoon up my ass. Yo, bro, are you finna play with your Johnson? Okay, with Tiana Trump. What the fuck it look like I'm doing? Yo, bro, are you finna go somewhere? Cut this shit off. Cut everything off! You, sir, have fucking lost it! So mama came to me. Raising fucking hell, asking me, who ate the last brownie? Who ate the last brownie? And guess what happened? She slapped the shit out of me, telling me, I know you ate the brownies. I know you ate the brownies. You know why? Because Carson told her. Motherfucker, have you lost your goddamn mind? Have you fucking lost it? Do you know what I do to people like you? You fucking rat. Do you know? I strip you butt booty naked and go to work. Our brotherhood is over. It really shows me, like, what type of person you are. You can't be trusted. You can't! What in your right mind? What makes you tell her that I did this shit? Even though I did, but what the fuck? Ah! Pack your shit up. It's time, it's over. You're moving out of my room and into the basement. I'm done. I'm done. And you, you better watch out because if you drop that soap, You got a new phone? Oh yeah, my mom bought me one. Girl, you don't get tired of depending on your mom and dad to pay for everything. You're 16, you should be able to buy your own phone. They're my parents. Like what? You're so spoiled. So when are you gonna start working? 
Because I work at the Taco Bell, and if you want to get put on, I can put you on. Oh, no, it's fine. My mom don't want me to work. You don't have to work. Why would you not have to work at 17? My parents pay for everything. Oh, my gosh. I forgot. Your mom pays for everything. Your dad pays for everything. We get it. You have a two-parent household. You still should want to work as a woman. Why did you not get no McDonald's? Oh, I don't eat that. Oh, of course you don't eat McDonald's because you're used to steak and lobster and snow crab, right? I'm literally allergic. Sure. Sure, you're allergic. You got the new threes? Yeah, yesterday. Oh, I let did. me guess. Your mom bought it for you. No, I bought it with my money. Wow. You bought it yourself? Yes. With the money your mom gave you? I saved up. So, technically, you didn't buy yourself. I mean, I'm just saying, you never grew up with a struggle. So, how are you going to know the real world? Like, you never had to eat noodles for three weeks straight. Um, You never had to lay on the floor. Like, it's just weird that you're so spoon-fed and spoiled. Like, the fact that you have a whole car... At 18 that your parents bought it's wild hey do anybody have five dollars you said do anybody have five dollars oh i don't know maybe you should just ask sarah because you know her mom gives her 100k a week and she doesn't have to work i'm pretty sure she can give you 50 dollars just because she's spoon fed and spoiled how is that spoiled you are spoiled You got braces? Yeah, I did. Oh, must be nice to have rich parents. They're not rich. And not have to know the struggle. Like, I used to literally put rubber bands on my teeth. But I mean, you know, Little Miss Perfect just gets anything she wants. Oh, are you going to college or something? Because I've been seeing you applying to schools. Oh, yeah, I'm going. You are? How are you going to go to college? Girl, my parents are paying for it. Your parents are paying for you. Your parents are literally paying for you to go to college? Yes. Girl, you're you're like 18, 19. You're a grown woman. There is no reason your parents should be paying for you to go to college. Girl, it's a normal thing that parents do. How is that normal? My parents are not paying for me to go to college. If I want to go to college, I have to literally grind and do it myself. Okay, You're just you. spoiled. I'm really but, not. I mean, have fun at your preppy little school with your rich friends and your rich parents. Hey, girl. Hey, gr girl. You got your hair done again. You get your hair done literally every other week. Who pays for that? Oh, girl, my mama. Your mom? Why is she paying for you to get your hair done? You can't pay for yourself. Don't you work? I mean, yeah, but it's for what I want to buy. So your money goes to whatever you want and she pays for you to get your hair done yeah that's weird and you're spoiled and you're kind of wrong for that because why are you even letting your mom pay for you to get your hair done tell her no my mom my parents would never like it's giving you're so spoon fed and it makes me mad like it literally enrages me but i mean as long as you're happy as long as your parents are okay with doing it guess what girl what my dad literally bought me a car whoop de woo daddy's girl got her new car why would i care why would you not i mean I, i'm not jealous i just don't understand on why your parents constantly keep buying you things that you can buy yourself like why is that why is your dad going all the way out his way to get you a car he's my dad like i said it's not normal my parents make me literally get it out the mud there's no reason for you to have a new 2023 car in your driveway at 16 years old Girl, you're that mad. Nobody's jealous of you. It's just the fact that you're spoon-fed you and you're going to grow up to be a brat and nobody's going to want to be your friend. Let's be honest. You need to tell your parents to stop doing all that. Girl, you must be going through something. Girl, your nails are so cute. Who got them done? Your boyfriend? Oh, no, my dad did. Your dad? Yeah. Why is he getting your nails done? He's my dad. That's... I mean, I get that's your dad, but, like, that's stuff that your dude's supposed to do. 
It's giving incest vibes. Girl, how? But okay. Oh, bye. Bye, Dad. Did he just kiss you on your cheek? Yeah. Wow. There's no way your dad just kissed you on your cheek. Girl, he's my that father. It's weird, bro. Girl, shut up. That's literally my dad. You love to say that's my dad. Okay, he can't kiss you on your forehead or like not kiss you at all. Like, please don't do that around me no more. That's very incest and weird. Then you can get out for real. Um, me and the girls gonna go out to eat. So, do you want to come with us? No, it's okay. I'm going on a date. You going on a date? Yeah. With who? Girl, just my dad. Your dad. <laughs> yeah. What? My dad. Yeah, I'm going on dad and daughter dates. Yes, girl. Girl, you need to get you a man because you cannot be doing this stuff with your dad. How do your mom feel about that? She's my mom. Why would she care? Yeah, no. Your mom, she better than me because what? But have fun on your little dad and daughter date. Girl, I was thinking about getting a tattoo. Do you have any tattoos? Yeah, just my dad's name. Your dad's name? Why do you got that man's name on you? Because he passed away. Okay, I get he passed away, but, like, that's not something you're supposed to do. Like, you got your whole dad tatted on you? Yes, girl. I'll get, like, my boyfriend name or something like that. But my dad? Y'all y'all were too close for me. Oh, I love my mama so much. Like, me and her are so close. We so tight. Like, who you closer with? Your mama or your dad? To be honest, my dad. Your dad? As a girl, why are you clo more close with your dad? I don't know. We just close. I mean, I guess. That's. Okay. That's weird. You're weird. What you finna do? Oh, I'm finna go in the kitchen and cook. You finna cook? Why you finna cook? I just told you my boyfriend was coming over here. And I feel like that's weird. Like, you trying to cook all of a sudden that he coming over here? Girl, I cook every other day. You what are you talking about? You order fast food. You can't like DoorDash. I don't feel like eating fast food today. Girl, any other time you do that. But I mean, okay. Cook. Cook so you can seem like a wife in front of my man. Like, he don't want you. He don't care. Girl. Why is you wearing that? Girl, my robe? <laughs> yes, your robe. Like, it's like, I just told you my man was going to come over here. Now you walking around. In your moo moo and your robe. Okay, like, but I'm not naked. Girl, I wear this every day to sleep. You can put sweatpants on and a sweatshirt. Like, why it's you gotta so walk around? It's so hot in, in here. That? Why would I do that? I don't. I don't understand. <laughs> Did you just put some perfume on? Yeah. Why? But why? Cause I just got out the shower. Okay, but like. It's crazy to me that you put perfume on knowing my boyfriend finna come over here. Like, are you trying to smell good for him or something? I like, literally you couldn't just have got just the put shower on and went to go lay down. You know what? It's cool. Let me just, I don't care. You got your hair done? Yeah, why? Why would you get your hair done, though? What's the problem? Because I just told you my my boyfriend was going to come. So why did you go in there and do your hair? It's been like this for two weeks. I just touched your it up. Your hair been like that for, for two weeks? Girl, yes. I mean, cool. Maybe it has been like that for two weeks. But you can't like mess it up a little bit. Like It's like you're trying so hard because you know he's coming. Psst. Um, My boyfriend going to come over. So like, is it cool if you just stay in a room for like an hour or two? Like, don't come out. Why can I come out what of my you own mean? room? why because like he don't need to see you like he don't need to like see no other girl like and then like i said you're walking around with basketball shorts on girl it's basketball so it's like, shorts can you just stay in a room for like an hour or two what's so hard about it girl why you got your toes out girl what you I talking about now i just told you my man is gonna come over here so the fact that you have your toes out is giving like thirsty you can't put no socks on what no do I slippers, ever wear? No socks. shoes. Like you're walking around with fresh white painted toes. As I should. Like we know, you, we know every dude like freshly painted white toes. 
So the fact that you're walking around with your toes out is beyond me. Like, can you please put some socks on out of respect or like, yeah, babe? Because I was just saying like, I don't hey, know. Hey, do I want to make y'all a plate of food? You said, do we want some food? What you mean we? I mean, I'm making all I the plates. So. Plate. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, he good. You can make my plate though, but I can make his plate because he don't need no other girl making his plate. Girl, I was just trying to be respectful. Oh, you was just trying to be respectful? Well, it's cool. Respectfully. Respectfully, I got it. Thank you, Buki. Hey, girl. Hey. What was wrong with your boyfriend? Nothing. What you mean? I mean, I just came in and tried to give him a hug and a speak. Hug. And, like, he ignored me and didn't let me hug him. So I just thought, like, maybe y'all was arguing or something. Because, like, well, what are you not hugging me for? But yeah, I was thinking about going out to eat. Yes, that'd be so fun. Oh my god, you know what would be so fun? You should invite your boyfriend. Oh, for like a double date? No, like not on a double date. Like, I, you know, I'm single. So I'm just saying like, I feel like your boyfriend have like a cool little vibe. So I'm just saying like, you should invite him. Girl, what? That's your boyfriend on the phone? Yeah, why? Tell him I said hey and nah, nah, I miss him and that why he did not text me back on Snapchat. What you text him on Snapchat for? What you mean? I can't text him on Snapchat. Girl, it was not that deep. It was I was just telling him like how my day was going. Don't be insecure. Girl, what? So you know I've been talking to this dude on Snapchat, right? And girl, right? he looked just like your boyfriend. Like he's so what? fine. Girl, don't be weird. What's the problem with me saying that? I'm saying Okay, never mind. Yeah, <laughs> never, never mind. mind. I'm just saying, like, if I had a boyfriend like yours, girl, I would be giving it up every day. Every single day. Like, for real. So you mean to tell me your boyfriend don't got no cousins, no brothers, nobody that look like him, that act like him? Girl, no. I told you no already. I have some popcorn if you want to watch a movie. Oh, yeah. I'm down. You do? Okay, well, you should tell your boyfriend to come and watch it, too. What am I telling him for? What you mean, well, I just, I don't want him to be out there bored and alone. Girl, he's grown. Like, we, we not doing nothing so weird. Why can't he? Girl, this smells just like your boyfriend. That's low-key weird to say. How is that weird? I can't say he smelled good. I'm buying this. <laughs> for real, for real. What you writing on your hand? You said, what am I writing? Um, I'm writing down your boyfriend's name. Girl, don't write his name down. I can't write his name down? Girl, I was best. We're black brothers and sisters. I knew him way before you. Okay. If I wanted him, I would have. I would have had him already. Like, what? Chill out. We're best friends. Like, it's not that deep. And um, let your boyfriend know if he do need his hair done, he can come to me for free. Here you go with this weird stuff again. How is that weird? You don't even know how to do your own boyfriend's hair. Girl, like, yes, I do. I'm just saying, if I do hair, why would I not do his hair for free? He's different from everybody else. Different? Tracy. Yes, ma'am. Come here for a second. Look, my boyfriend coming over here, and what you got on, inappropriate. Ma, it's shorts and, and a shirt. Shorts and a shirt. Go change. Okay. Go go put on a, a jacket and some sweatpants. Thank you. What you keep coming out this room for? I was trying to give me something. I told you eat. my dude was coming over here. So what you trying to show off? Ma, I'm just trying to get some food out the kitchen. You trying to get some food out the kitchen. Well, I feel like you trying to do a little too much. Stay in this room. It don't come out no more. Uh, hey, Ma. What you want? Ma, I got to talk to you about something. Talk to me about what? Hurry up. My, my TV on. Damn, you make me feel uncomfortable. <laughs> Damn, you make, he make you uncomfortable. What you think he wants you? <laughs> I mean, he just make me feel weird. Girl. All right. You know what? If if you was to not come out your room trying to be fast and grown for my man, maybe he wouldn't look at you. Now close my room door and get out. Tracy, when you get home from school, I won't be here. I'm going to go by Daniel's house. Ma, y'all can't stay over here? 
why I won't bring him over here? Never again. So you can keep being grown, walking around with them shorts, telling me my man looking at you sideways? No. You'll see me next week. Just, they got some food in the uh, freezer. Take care of your little brother, sister. Make sure they get to and from school. And just text me if y'all need something. I'm so ready to get my hair done. Girl, that's why I booked me a point for you next week. You get your hair done next week? Yeah. What you doing to it? I was thinking about going dark red. Red? Girl, red on you would not be cute. Girl, like, what you know? mean by red though? Like, straight red. Straight red? Like, you gonna just. Ugh. On you though? I don't know. I feel like you would be more cute and like black, bone straight black. But that's up to. That's on you. Girl. Okay. But yeah, I'm getting my hair done tomorrow, so. Yeah. <sighs> hey, girl. What you looking at me like that for? Girl, because your hair. My hair. What about it? Ain't no way you went and got the same oh hairstyle I said God. I was getting. You swear you're the only one that can wear red hair. Like, what? When did you ever talk about red hair? Yesterday when you said it wouldn't look good on me. I said it wouldn't look cute on you. I, if I did say that, I said on you. I never said it wouldn't look cute on me. Like, what? I told y'all I was getting my hair done yesterday. So what's the problem? But why copy somebody's hairstyle when you just said it was ugly? Like, what? We can't both wear red? It's a, what's the big deal? So, what you wearing to that girl dinner tomorrow? Because I have no idea what I want to wear. Like, what color? Honestly, I was just going to wear a light pink you sweater. Gonna, you going to wear a pink sweater to a dinner? Girl, I don't know. I just feel like pink is not your color. Like, you should wear, like, black, brown, tan. Like, I feel like you should stick to the nude colors. I mean, I don't know yet. What you going to wear? What am I going to wear? Um, I don't know yet. I haven't figured that out. But, when I do... Probably just be like a t-shirt and jeans. I don't know. Nothing too serious. I'm sorry I'm late, y'all. Uh, Happy birthday, girl. I got you a gift in the car. Thank you. Why is you looking at me like that? Because why is you wearing a pink sweater? Girl, what you talking about? I just threw this on. Girl, you're trying to be like me so bad. I'm trying to be like you. How am I trying to be like you? I told you I was wearing pink yesterday. When did I? When did you ever say anything about wearing pink to the dinner? Yesterday. Girl. <laughs> I can't. You swear, like, you do this every single time, though. Girl, you do this every single time. So you told me you was wearing a pink sweater to the dinner? Girl, yes. Well, if you did, what's the problem? Like, why we can't both match? Girl, guess what? What? I gotta start wearing glasses. You gotta start wearing glasses? What they look like? They, like, clear as pinkish. Clear? Girl, I feel bad for you. Your face don't fit glasses. Like, I don't know. It's just too... I don't know. I just can't see you in glasses. But, I mean, that sucks for you, though. Girl, let me tell you. What? Girl, I ain't no way. Why are you looking at me like that? Because your glasses. My glasses. What about them? You went and got the same pair as me. So, you mean to tell me I went and got the same glasses that you was going to get? Girl, yes. Girl, you try so hard. These are my prescription glasses. I've been having these. I just now started to wear them. Girl, why is you lying? You never had to wear glasses before. I don't understand. If you got the glasses, I got the glasses. Cool. Who cares? It's not that big of a deal. It's the point that you talk stuff about me, then turn around and wear okay. it. You say I criticize you, then turn around and wear it. I be having this stuff already. Just because I say it don't look good on you, don't have nothing to do with me. Like, you need to calm down. You swear you're that girl. Like, somebody want to be you. Girl. Why did you get a blue wig? What you mean? Why? I wanted to do it for prom. You don't think you too dark for that? What? No. What the freak are you talking about? That do not look good on your skin complexion. I feel like color wigs go for more of, like, a light skin. Like, you got to be light skin and wear, like, pink, blue, blonde. If you... If you like that, you shouldn't be wearing color gray. You should have just stuck to like brown or black. That's better for y'all. What you mean by y'all? I mean, like y'all as in like dark skins. Like that's just better for y'all. I just feel like that's cuter. Like y'all need to just stick to like things that fit y'all skin color. We can wear what we want. We just as pretty as y'all. 
I mean, I'm just trying to say my opinion. Like, it's cute or whatever. I just feel like it would be cuter on, like, somebody light skin. But, you know, everybody do what they want to do in life. Everybody wear what they want. You do you. Girl, I don't know if I'm tripping, but them dudes is looking over here at me. Girl, them dudes is not looking at you. Oh, why wouldn't they? Because I'm right here. You know, dudes mostly go for curly and light skins. They not really like, let's be honest, this, this, this generation of dudes not really going for like dark skins like your color. Like, I'm pretty sure I would be able to pull them faster than you can pull them because just because of my skin. Let's be Girl, real. Boy, that's like, so I'm a dumb. Caramel, red bone, and you were dark skin. They not going for that. Like, you might get like one dude out the group that'll go for you. But other than that, no. Girl, you're so weird. Like, you straight colorist, bro. How is that weird? <laughs> I mean, it, let's be honest. But okay, I guess. If you think they looking at you, they're looking Girl, at you. Girl, shut up. And you they just not dumb. looking at me. Girl, where did you get that dress from? Oh, this? I got it from Walmart. They had all different types of colors, girl. They even had black, too. I definitely got to go get me one. Well, if you go, make sure you get, like, black. Don't get no color, because the color on your skin, it will not look good. How? What? You sound dumb. What? I just feel, I just feel like you're dark skin, so black or white will look good on you. But, like, bright neon colors like this, I don't feel like that's you. I just feel like that's that's going to look, like, trashy. You just need something Girl, black, brown, trashy. or tan. Don't go get no color like this. You got to be, like, light skin for that type of stuff, I think. Why do you sound so dumb when what? you talk all the time? I'm just okay. Never mind, bro. I'm just saying. I no, feel like you're, you're rude, disrespectful, and, and colorist. You need to stop saying stuff black. like that. Sounding dumb. How's that rude? You're saying I can't pull something off because I'm dark skin. Are you dumb? Okay. Hey, girl. Your brother here, or he gone? Yeah, he in the room. Why? Oh, I'm just acting. <laughs> I just wanted to know. Like, I just, you know, girl, you know me. Just nosy. Mm-hmm. I know you said that we were supposed to be hanging out today, but do you mind if I go watch a movie with your brother real quick? Like, just one movie, and I swear I'll be back in here. Girl, like, you just got over here. It won't even be that long. Yeah, let, just let me get my wallet. Uh, where y'all finna go? You said where I'm finna go? I'm gonna go ride around to the mall with your brother real quick. But you were supposed to be hanging out with me. I mean, girl, don't do that. Girl, you do this every time. I mean, we can still hang out when we get back. It's gonna only be like two, three hours. But he finna leave me, so I gotta go. Um, I'm gonna go sleep in your brother's room for the night. But when you get up in the morning, I'll come back in here. But he wanted to go, like, watch movies and stuff, so. Girl, you haven't slept over with me since yeah. a month. I mean, just text me. I'll be, in the I'll be in the room right next to you. It's giving you come over here just for him. How do I come over here only for him? Girl, I'm in the, the room right next to you. You'll be okay. Love you. Whose shirt is that? You said where I got this shirt from? Yeah. This your brother's. Why you got his shirt on? Why I got his shirt on? Because I slept in his room last night. I had nothing else to wear. Girl, what? Why is it a problem? Girl, you could have worn any of my clothes. Girl, it's not that deep. Mm -mm. Why are you getting all dressed up? You gonna be real mad. But your brother asked me that I want to go out to eat with him. Girl, what? Girl, I've been over here hanging out with you for like 10 minutes already. It's 10 minutes. I mean, I'm going to come back. I don't understand why it's such a huge deal. Like, I'm so bored. You should tell your brother to come here. Girl, I'm not telling that musty boy come to my room. Why not? Girl, your brother is so entertaining. Like, I don't know why you do him like that. He's annoying. I mean, I'm just saying, I feel like it would just be more fun if he was in here, but it's up to you. So, like, 
Do you be seeing your brother with like any of the girls? Girl, yes, I tell you this all the time. He do this with everybody? Everybody. Girl, no he don't. So you mean to tell me he flirt with every last one of your friends that come over here? Yes, no, he, he do. No, he don't. You just saying that because you don't like that I be with him more than you. Why do I have to lie on my brother? Okay, girl. Because he was telling me I'm the only one he talked to. I'm the only one of your friends that he ever talked to. But, I guess... It, I was not, it's not a trick. I didn't do any edit or nothing. This is really, I just reattached the dreads with a crochet hook that you could get in the beauty store or hair store. So I did. You could just reattach them. It's that simple. It took me about three days, but it's possible. That's all. This. Gee, I wonder if I'm the only one with free will and everyone else is being mind controlled by the same guy. You're talking foolish. What makes you say that? Nothing. That was oddly defensive. Well, I certainly didn't mean to act as such. What makes you say that? Nobody. You see, not only was my question not literal, I asked what, not who. Ah, we misheard. We? Yeah, I'm bilingual. Oh, me too. Are you top or bottom? No, you see, I speak English and French. Right. Is English and French the only two languages you know, or do you know all of them? Ah, oh, well, that's ridiculous. You don't actually believe that. See? See as in C, or like yes in Spanish. See? Shit. So who's the one controlling everybody? You. I know, it's just fun to talk to myself and pretend I don't well, know. Well, it certainly helps keep us from going insane. Don't refer to me as us. It breaks the immersion. You're the one who said it, you bastard. Hey, go fuck yourself. Maybe I will. After all, I am bilingual. That's not what that means. Do you feel kind of funny? No, you're just drunk. I haven't been drinking. You're so drunk, you don't even remember drinking. It's still daylight. Why would I have been drinking? I tried asking you that, but you're too drunk to answer me. I'm not drunk. Yes, you are. You're, you're gaslighting me. I'm not gaslighting you. I think you're the one who's drunk. What do you mean? I sound completely sorbet. It's sober, not sorbet. Now you're gaslighting me. I'm not gaslighting. What do you know about gaslighting, anyway? My house is all gaslights. Well, what gas do they produce? Carbon monoxide. No, th that's the, the gas that we produce when we breathe. Uh, I think my wife is calling. I act sober. Uh, the results came back. It looks like your brain cells. What about them? Your brain sales? Yeah, and? No, that's the full sentence. We made a bunch of copies of your brain and put them up for sale, and they completely sold out. I didn't agree to that. Well, it's too late now. Well, I'll just go home and have some uh, lead juice. Lead consumption can lead to serious brain damage. Exactly. If I damage my brain, you guys won't be selling them anymore. The copies of your brain that were already put out won't have brain damage and will go up in value because of that, making us even more money. How about this? You continue to sell my brain, but you give me a cut of it. What if we don't? I'll come after you. You're not going to be able to do anything on your own. I'll bring others as well. Nobody's just going to tag along with some random guy. I would. Yeah, but you're different. Most people wouldn't do that. If I would do it, then the thousands of people with an exact copy of my brain would do it too. So you're going to give me the cut. All right, what do you want? 50%. What? That's non-negotiable. We've both made my mind. It's my birthday tomorrow. Really? Yeah, goodbye 18. Hello 33. You're turning 33. Yeah. But you're 18 right now. Oh, I got that existence premium. What does that do? It gives me access to exclusive features like nonlinear aging, unnatural sound effects. What do you uh, mean unnatural sound effects? You'll see. All right, all right, I get it. What, what else can you do? Built in alarm clock. How does that work? You set a time, then your body makes a loud noise that wakes yourself up. <gasps> Snooze. What was that? The built in alarm clock. No, we were talking, and then all of a sudden it was you waking yourself up. What was that? Oh, yeah, that's another thing. When you to show someone something, you can do a mental cutaway now. All right, keep going. What else, what else is there? Customizable hair color. You can do that already with dye. Speaking of dying, if you die, you can watch an ad to be revived. So you could have a heart attack and be like, can you do the cutaway for me? I, I can't do yeah, it. Yeah, sure. <sighs> I should buy an air fryer. Can you do a joke about the color dark blue? Maybe. Did you say maybe or navy? I mumbled some sort of in-between word to try to create a pun. You do realize you're going to have to put captions on this video, right? Yeah, and? You're going to have to distinguish whether you said maybe or navy, which will ruin the joke because your brain's just going to snap towards whichever one they read in the captions. Oh, shit. All right, next joke. I'll give you $5 if you can name something naturally occurring that's dark blue. Um, see? Wait, no, ignore what I just said. Don't think about the sea. Fuck. So is that good for jokes about the color dark blue? Those are just puns relating to the word blue. They're not actually about the color dark blue. So what do you want me to do? A joke about dark blue. All right, fine. Colorblind people will be like, don't mess with me. I see red when I fight. Then this is the color they see when they fight. That was just a joke about being colorblind. All right, fine, here. I knew this guy named Lee who had both of his arms blown off in an explosion. Now we call him Leslie. That was just a really dark joke about someone who blew up. A really dark joke about someone who blew up. Dark blue. Uh, you're reaching. Unlike Leslie. I'm looking for a wanted criminal with the first name Noah and last name Noah. Does anybody Noah Noah Noah? Does anybody what? Noah Noah Noah. Know who? 
Noah Noah. I do. His name is Noah Boone. No, Noah Noah. What are you trying to say? This, this is like that old who's on first sketch. Who's on first? Yes, and who's on third? I don't know. So you've seen it? No. You haven't seen it? No. Uh... That's the man I'm looking for. Noah? Yes. What's his last name? Noah. His first name and last name are both Noah. Exactly. Have you seen him? Yeah, he was here about five minutes ago. He paid me $20 to waste your time while he ran away. Which way did he go? That way. Hey, aren't you Noah Noah? I am. But if anybody asks, I'm not Noah Noah, and you don't Noah Noah Noah. This is a factory that makes tall whiteboards. <clears throat> I can see you've all worked very hard this week. Sales are off the charts. Yay! That should not be possible. Aww. Yeah, everybody back to the drawing board. John, you go grab the ladder. Stupid invisible bouncy ball. You need to open the door, sir. Sir, can you please open the door? It's time to take your medication. Hey, I have three lies, but they were paid for earlier. Is that the truth? Yeah, of course. So then you still have all three lies. Well, I haven't used any, so I should still have all three. So you're not running to the back of the store to steal another lie, because you just used your third one. Actually, I am. Please, there's someone stealing lies in my store. You do have a license to sell lies, right? Just grab me one while you're back there. Jimmy, none of this is real. You're in a coma right now. Please, wake up. Uh, okay. Jimmy, you've been in a coma for five years. You were in a car Oh, hold on. I forgot something. There it is. Wait, why are you back? Jimmy, you've been in a coma for six years. For six years? I was only gone for like... Shit, I forgot my watch. Oh, we were back. Jimmy, stop trying to take oh, things out of the coma. That doesn't work. Jimmy, you've been in a coma for Just seven... one more minute. Actually, I don't even remember what I came in for. Hold on. Jimmy... Oh, my glasses. There. All right, I'm done now. Jimmy, you've been in a coma for nine years. You were in a car accident and lost both of your legs. That's weird. I could have sworn I brought those with me. Hold on, I'll be no, right wait, back. Jim Can you remind me to get my brakes fixed? Listen, reminding people of stuff is my greatest weakness. No matter what I do, I always forget. I've been like it my whole life, too. What if you write it down? I'll just forget to check the paper. What if you set an alarm, and when the alarm goes off, then check what you wrote down? I'll forget what the alarm is for. What if I put a gun to your head and then told you to remind me? Would that work? Uh, no. How? Because I forgot to remind you to pick up bullets. Alright, I'm gonna go to the store, get bullets, come back, and then put the gun to your head. <sighs> the brakes! This is how you check if there's someone hiding behind your mirror. Now, there's two methods. There's the phone method and the startle method. I'll start by showing you the phone method. Oh, oh my god! What the hell, man? That was the startle method! I know, if I told you I was gonna do the startle method, it wouldn't work, so you'd be expecting it. Okay, fine, now do the phone now, method. Now, the phone method is a bit more complex because- Oh! No, dude, stop! You already did the startle method! I didn't make sure it wasn't a fluke. Now, the next method is- Oh! Please stop, man! You've already done Hold the on, startle I'm method! Hold on, But the, the neighbors heard... Screaming. Screaming? Oh, no, sorry, uh, a bug landed on me. Don't listen to him. He's lying. I've been trapped behind his mirror for no, years. No, no, he's in danger, don't worry. Please send help. Do not believe him. Yeah, you have a great day, Joe. Please. Bye. I'm behind the mirror. And that's the phone method. Hey, want to play truth or dare? Where? No, not there. Dare. That's where I'm looking. No, dare, as in truth or. Wait, did you say dare? Yes, dare. Oh, I, I still don't see it. Can you point at it? I'm asking if you want to play the game, truth or dare. Oh, yeah, sure, uh, truth or dare. Truth. What were you trying to show me? There's a demon over there that's trying to force me to dare you into sacrificing yourself. So I tried to get you to look over there without the demon noticing. Quickly, before he kills me, over there, look. What? Dare. No, you picked truth. You can't change you it now. I'm looking for an oddly masculine woman who just gave birth. What's up? Ma'am, I'm sorry, but your son is a cockroach. What? He was born a cockroach. How, how, does, how did that even happen? Well, maybe he shouldn't have been talking all that shit about the wizard who can cast retroactive spells. How was he talking shit? He was just born and he's a cockroach. No, no, no. He was going to be born a human who would go on to talk shit about a wizard who can cast retroactive spells. But the wizard cast a retroactive spell to turn him into a cockroach. So he was born a cockroach. This doesn't seem fair. How does it... Pretty much all birth defects are just that, retroactive spells. Why doesn't anyone talk about this? We try to tell all our patients, but the wizards cast retroactive spells, so you pretty much gets removed from your memory shortly after you're talking about it. Sorry, what were we talking about again? I don't even remember. Ugh, cockroach. No, I got it. We're good. Today is national if you check your calendar, your gay day. That, that's not a thing. Sure it is. 
No, you just made that up. If you don't believe me, check your calendar. I'm not gonna check my calendar. I don't be labeled as gay. You'll only be labeled as gay if the holiday is real and you're very confident that it's not, so check your calendar. How did you even know about this holiday then? Well, I just knew what day it was. I glanced at the calendar yesterday and realized it was gonna be tomorrow. All right, fine. I'll check my calendar. There's nothing there. What? There's nothing special for today. It's just a normal day. No, no, it, it's real. I remember it was today. It's on the 12th. Today's the 13th. Oh, no. <laughs> no, no, it's fine. There's nothing wrong with being gay. <laughs> relax, relax. It's all right. We accept you for who you really are. Recently, one of my friends betrayed and gave up on the whole group to get with someone else in the group's girlfriend. And honestly, I kind of feel bad for him because he doesn't have a job or anything and he's only 18. So like, he has no excuse to get away from her. It's like... Where are you going? I'm going to work. You don't have a job. All right, I'm going out with friends. You don't have friends. I'm going to drink and drive. You're not old enough to drink. Why would I care about the age limit if I'm willing to drink and drive? You don't have a fake ID. Fine, I'm just going to drive. You don't have a license. I've already established that I don't care about breaking the law. You don't have a car. I'll stay here. You're so bald when you look down, your head reflects the light and wipes people's memory like Will Smith and Men in Black. Oh yeah, I give one. It's funny because it's true. Just like this next joke. Your head is so smooth when I turn my head with a hat on, the hat stays facing the same way. How did you know what I was going to say? You really think if I could erase people's minds with my baldness, I wouldn't use that to my advantage? You mean we've done this roast battle several times before? Hundreds of times. I know every roast you have off the top of my head. At least you have something, something on, on the... the top of my head. Just give up. You made fun of my bald head, and now I've trapped you in an eternal loop of torment. It's funny how I'm the one who's bald, but you're the one who's going to pay. Your bald ass is psychologically torturing me? I guess you really are a smooth, smooth criminal. criminal. No amount of bald jokes you can have can make you win this. I've done this battle a million times before. Why are you doing this to me? This is, this is supposed to be fun. It's all in good fun. I made fun of your head, and you responded by trapping me in an infinite loop of torment. Why'd you agree to this roast battle if you're gonna get all offended I'm like this? Not offended, this is just horrible. Think of the audience. They've probably seen this a million times. Man, how are you gonna be predictable and gullible at the same time? What? I just predicted your roast by chance and made up this whole story to freak you out and prove you were an idiot. I will give you that win. You won that round. That was such a crazy scheme to make me look like an idiot. Oh my god. I usually let it go a bit after you admit that I've won. Wait, no, 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 wait, wait, wait. Seeing you realize I already knew that is even better. Wait, no, no. He's not breathing. Is anybody here an incompetent but very determined mind reader? No, a doctor, I was going to say. Is anybody here a doctor? Well, I already revealed that information at the beginning of the sentence. Seriously, guys, is anybody here a doctor? This is a medical emergency. We're not just using the context clues of the sentence to figure out what I'm about to say. No, I'm not. All right, then what am I about to say without me having to start the sentence? Honeymoon. No, not, not even, even close. close. Hey, CC, I did That's it. That's not impressive. You just guessed wrong intentionally and predicted me telling you you were wrong. You're lying right now, because you actually are a little bit impressed by that. Uh, it, it was a little bit clever. I'll give you that. Also, oh, you forgot about the guy who needs a doctor and is dying. Oh, sh... Why is there always a twist? What do you mean? In all your videos, it always leads up to some big reveal. Like, it was all hallucination, or the whole thing is told backwards. But you don't have some sort of, like, bang at the end. It's just going to be disappointing. You can have that bang and still have a disappointing final product. Ask my parents. I don't know. I just feel like everything should lead up to some... Big punchline. This video doesn't have that, and clearly someone's still watching. Yes, it does. Well, you mean like how I'm not real and I'm actually a representation of how you criticize yourself? Yeah. That's not really that big of a review. I mean, we both look identical. It's kind of implied. But if you're actually me, then that joke about, like, disappointing the parent, that was about me. Yeah, what are you going to do about it, huh? I'm talking a lot of shit for someone who doesn't want a punchline. Let's go. Come Let's on. go. I think you always have to have some sort of punchline or big reveal and everything, but that's not always necessary, you know? But don't beat yourself up Oh, over shit, it. I just did. This is two people experiencing a condition I made up called ATS syndrome. Well, where, where are we? Don't panic. I think we're experiencing ATS syndrome. What's that? It's amnesia teleportation syndrome. So our memory was wiped and we were teleported somewhere random. Exactly. How do we figure out where we are? Just look around and see if you can find anything that you recognize. Whoa! It's just a big drop off at the end of this hall. Is there anything else? There's another hall next to us, but I can't reach it without falling. I've definitely never been here. Me either. Wait, what did you say ATS syndrome was? Amnesia teleportation syndrome. What does the S stand for? Syndrome. Amnesia teleportation syndrome syndrome? Oh shit. No, the S stands for something else. I forgot because of the amnesia. Well, amnesia to remember. That was horrible. I, I thought it was funny. Never say anything like that again. Okay. Oh, the S stands for shrinking. So we've been shrunk down? Yes, that should help us figure out where we are. Think, what has two connecting hallways that lead to a drop off that's super small? I can look it up on my phone. Oh, shit, it's dead. Is there an outlet around here? Uh... Wait! 
Oh shit, we're in an outlet. My least favorite piece of advice is if you don't have anything nice to say, don't say anything at all. Imagine if everybody did that, it would be like... Why does this house smell like gas? Never mind. Oh my god. 911, what's your emergency? My, my neighbor's house! What's wrong with it? Nothing. It looks amazing. Great, you should go tell him that. Uh, I'm afraid he can't be reached at the moment. Oh, why is that? He's on my roof. Ah, I see. Will you enjoy your evening? Yeah, you too. 911, what's your emergency? Oh, there's a very creative driver going down this road. How so? He's driving on the wrong side. Wow, truly innovative. This guy's going somewhere. Yeah, towards that building, I think. I'm here. No, you're not. Yes, I am. I'm looking outside. It's just an empty road. That's me. What? I am the road. Y you're, you're not the road. You're, you're Sarah. Yeah, Sarah Street, which is the main road. This doesn't make any sense. I'm going on a date with the road. Yeah. Why do you want me? Because when you, you turn on me, you turn me on, you know what I mean? No. Whatever. So where do you want to go? There's this nice Chinese place down you. Can you drive? No, my car broke down after I hit a pothole. Sorry, I have acne. It's fine. I'll just get a cab. All right. Bring protection. What? For when you're on me. Do you mean a condom or a seatbelt? Remember when I created that AI that could tell stories so well the brain interprets them as actual experiences, creating false memories, and then I made the mistake of telling it to write my biography? Wait, 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 that's what happened to me. I, I created the AI. No, I remember writing the I, code. I, I literally remember doing it myself. I remember very clearly because my long black hair kept getting in the way of the screen. I remember it too. You don't have long black hair. What? Your hair is curly and... I don't know the difference between brown and blonde. Your hair's not black. Your hair's not long and black either. I clearly remember uploading it under my username, which is xxlongblackhair27. That's my username. What have I done? Okay, we need to have a talk. Why do you sound so serious? Who died? You. What? You're a ghost. We, we all are. Is this a bit? No, we actually thought you were doing a bit by pretending to be alive. Okay, so I got tired of my old life and family. I hired someone to fake my death. He does it. I fly over here. Well, you, this is a bit, isn't it? John, how did he fake your death? He loaded a gun, shot me, cut me up, and threw me in the river. But it was all staged. John, he just killed you. No, I paid him extra so he'd be even more realistic. You must have paid him a lot extra because he literally just shot you and killed you with a gun. No. What airline did you fly here with? I didn't have one. I just flew over. Living people can't do that. Yeah, but still. What do you mean, yeah, but still? You're literally dead and buried. You're overreacting. It's not that deep. It's six feet. Well, this is interesting. You think I'm interesting? No, I mean this video. Yeah, they really flipped this video on its head. Nice one. No, really, is this whole upside down thing really necessary? That's what I was talking about. This video is interesting because it's an ambergram. What's that? So I think that's the same upside down. But you're the one who's upside down. We both are, depending on which perspective you watch the video from. But I just said you're the one who's upside down. Shouldn't that ruin it? No, because if you were the one who was upside down, I'd look upside down from your perspective, so the line still works both ways. Is this also one of those videos where it loops back to the beginning? Depends. Do you remember what your first line was? I think. Do you remember yours? Time. If you have a scene with a clock, and you're not paying attention to the continuity, it could give the cutaway. I've been thinking about the Grim Reaper's diet lately. What do you mean? I don't know, I just wonder what the repeats. I don't know, I just wonder what the repeats. I don't know, I just wonder what the repeats. Probably a lot of junk food. Yeah, but I heard he's trying to cut back. Some of my writers have been cutting ties with people online. But I mean, it's none of my business who my writers block. I, I really don't know where to go from here. This happens all the- Stop what you're doing. The apartment you're in is rigged with explosives. If you hang up or stop talking, they go off. Who is- how did you get this number? You see, this is my number. The phone you're using right now is recently stolen from me. Either get it back to me or I blow up the apartment. Oh, I didn't steal it. I found it on the sidewalk. I've been waiting for the owner to call for a while. So you- I could have just called and you'd get me the phone back this whole time? Yeah, of course. In fact, I'll stop by your apartment right now and drop it off. Wait, how do you know where I live? Yep, I'm on my way. This is your answering machine. I'm always one step ahead of you, John. In fact, those explosives you brought to my apartment, I brought back to your place. No need to thank me. Anyways, what? leave a message after the beep. Wait, wait, no, no, no! That's it. I'm tired of you recording everything. You're done. Oh, wait, wait, please, no. Don't worry, guys. I'm wearing a bulletproof vest. Don't worry, guys. I'm wearing a bulletproof vest underneath. You all right? Yeah, I, I mean, no, no. Sorry, I'm dead. Oh, okay. Wait a minute. Is dead people talk?
you believe me if I said yes? No. What if I said no? Still wouldn't believe you. But, okay, then no. Well, I don't believe you. So you think dead people can talk? Wait, no, uh, I... I don't think they can. Shut up, yes they can. And what makes you think that? Because I had a heart attack about ten seconds ago. Gotcha, dead people can't open doors. Shit. This is my impression of a man who keeps switching from an insecure comedian rewatching himself telling jokes and a tightrope walker talking to a future version of himself. I fell off. I fell off? Someone cut me off while I was in the middle of the line. Someone cut me off while I was in the middle of the line? I'll never do stand up again. I'll never stand up again? Wait, who's that falling in the background? They caught it on camera? You ever hear the curse of yapping? No. Basically, a long time ago in this village, there was a sorcerer. Whenever the sorcerer would try to speak to people, they'd just tune him out. They wouldn't listen. As revenge, he developed a curse where people could only get to the point of what they were trying to say when people weren't listening or were distracted. He wow, this guy won't shut up. Curse. I gotta get Help, out of here. I have the curse. He put this curse upon everyone in the village. But not only that, he went around the world, and anyone he deemed to be a bad listener, he put the curse on as well. Rumor has it, he still wanders the earth. Listen, that's very interesting, but I, I gotta go to a he meeting. failed the test. Yeah, sure, I just, I, the meeting's very important, I gotta go. Oh yeah, what's so important about this meeting? Basically, the meeting is very important. A group of people will meet together, including myself, and discuss a bunch of important Wait, what's happening? Why can't I just say what I need to? Why, why am I still talking? Answer your question. You'd know if you were listening. You're not being a good teacher, you're just giving everyone the answers to the true or false questions. Okay, first, not true. Second, true. Third, true. Fourth, not true. Here's a bonus joke. This is my impression of someone warning their friend that they're in a landmine field while someone dismantles and steals their front steps. Take one more step and you're dead. I got the third one. Take one more step and you're dead! Here's another bonus joke. Jokes about disappearing ink. Here's another bonus joke. This is my impression of someone who doesn't know when to stop. Here's another bonus joke. Okay, fuck you, no more bonus jokes. Is this the baby name suggestion line? Sure is. Hi, I'm Colin, and I'm Colin to suggest the name Colin. Hello, Colin. Thanks for Colin. We like the name Colin, but first we have to call in. Lynn is my sister, and we want to make sure she likes the name Colin. I'll be right back with you, Colin, once I'm done calling Lynn. Hi. Who's Colin? Me. But who is this? I'm Colin. Remember I called in? This is just the name Colin, and then you had to call in? Oh, yeah. So what did she think? She didn't like it. Why not? Well, we have a daughter. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. Well, I'm Colin. You said that. When she gets older. Wait, what? I don't know who to slap. <laughs> I don't know who to slap. Excuse me, ma'am? Yeah? Hi, um, I noticed that you have a red Stanley tumbler in your cart, mm -hmm. and there aren't any more on the shelves, so, oh yeah, I'm not surprised, a big crowd ran in earlier and they were like grabbing all of them, but I was lucky enough to grab one for myself, right, okay, well, since you're getting it for yourself, I'm actually trying to get one for my little baby girl who's seven years old. Her name is Ansley Annabelle Adams. Um, yeah, she really wants that exact Stanley. So I can't come home unless I bring her that Stanley. Oh, um, well, I'm so sorry. I mean, you could probably check like other targets or something or maybe go on the Stanley website. Mm, no, I don't want to do that. I need that Stanley that's in the cart. Oh, I mean, I'm sorry. I, I can't do that. I already got it for myself and... I don't know what to tell you. Technically, the cup is still in the store, so it belongs to Target still. It's not your property unless you pay for it, and you haven't paid for it yet. So I'm just going to go ahead and grab it out of your cart. Wait, so did you end up hanging out with Big Mac yesterday? Yeah, and you won't believe who was there. Oh my god, tell me who. Apple bottom jeans. <gasps> You're lying. And she was with Big Papa? Mm-hmm. Yep, they are so toxic. I thought they broke up like three times already. Well, at first I didn't know because like he cheated on her with banana peel. So I was like, does she know? I guess she knows and she doesn't even care. Well, I mean, technically they're both like really toxic because she cheated on Big Papa with Hot Cheeto. Like that's not cool, but he still took her back. So yeah, they're both mutually insane. 
Okay, enough about them. What about your date with Big Mac? How was that? Like, did you guys have a good time? Did you end up talking about it or what? Yeah, that whole thing with light bulb was just like so dramatic. It it was totally fake. She was just like in his DMs and he wasn't responding. So there's like no reason to be mad at Big Mac. It's all light bulb's fault. Yeah, and he blocked her, so it's fine. Oh my god, light bulb is so annoying. I swear she's everywhere you look. Like take a hint, girl. But I'm so happy for you and Big Mac. You guys are so cute. Ah, oh, I love you guys. Hi, sweetheart. Your teacher emailed me that you wanted to have a meeting with me. I'm so glad to see you. How are you doing? How is this school year treating you? Oh no, I'm so sorry to hear that. What can I do to help? Just remember, everything that we talk about in this room is confidential. It's just between me and you. So go ahead, tell me all your secrets. I'm here to listen and only listen. You're depressed. Okay, let me just jot that down real quick. You have anxiety. Okay, let's shut that one down too. Are you experiencing any scary thoughts? You are. Okay, let's jot that one down in big bold letters. These are just notes for me. No one will see these. Anything else you want to tell me? Everything okay at home? Alright, sweetheart. We'll go back to class, okay? I'm so glad you got that off your chest. Have a good rest of your day. Hi, is this Kelsey's mom? Hi, Kelsey's mom. This is the school counselor. I would love to schedule a meeting with you soon. Yeah, I have a few notes jotted down here about some emotions that Kelsey's going through. I would love to discuss them with you. Hey, I forgot my mascara at home. Is it okay if I use yours? Yeah, of course. It's in the drawer right there. Okay, thanks. How many coats did you use of the mascara? Um, like two. Why? Oh, I'm just trying to calculate the amount that you should Venmo me for the coats. I'm going to see how much the mascara costs and then how many coats are estimated to be inside the tube. And then I can figure out how much you owe me. What? You're joking, right? No, why would I be joking? You're using my stuff. So obviously, you know, like I know we're friends and stuff and that's why I let you use it. But um, it, it, it was $9. So I do need you to Venmo me. I'm sorry, I didn't know you were going to charge me for two coats of mascara. I wouldn't have used it if I knew. Yeah, sorry, times are really tough right now. Every penny counts. Um, do you mind just Venmoing me? It actually came out to 28 cents for those coats. So, I'll send you my Venmo. Can I use your lip gloss? My lips are so trapped. Yeah, here you go. I actually just got this Fenty one. Oh my god, this is so nice. I know, right? Yeah, it was kind of expensive too. Hey, actually, before I forget, um, how much of it did you use? Oh, not a lot. Just, like, a little bit. Well, just, like, approximately. Like, approximately how much did you use of it? Did you, like, double dip? Did you completely cover your top and bottom lip? Did you just put it on your bottom lip and then, you know, blend it with your top lip together? How much did you use? Just approximately. Sorry. Like, I hate to be annoying. I'm just wondering. Are you joking? No. I'm serious how much did you use like i'm not mad or anything like i don't care i'm just like asking oh um I, I think i like swiped one time across my top and bottom lip i didn't double dip in the tube <laughs> okay so one full swipe on your bottom lip and then you probably turn the applicator over to the other side and you did your top lip right so you use both sides <sighs> um i think i don't know like what is going on Okay, um, well, I'm just asking because the lip gloss is $21, so I'm just trying to calculate how much you should Venmo me for it. It's really no big deal. You don't have to do it now. You can do it after. But, um, yeah, just don't forget. You owe me 15 cents. So, you could just round it up to 16 if you want. Thanks. Hey, can I come over? Hey, I actually have work in 30 minutes. I can't hang out. Sorry. I'm already here. Open the door. Oh, hey, did you get my text where I said that I couldn't hang out? Yeah, no worries. I can tag along. I'll just hang out there for six hours. You're gonna hang out at my job for six hours? Why? I don't know. I'm bored. Um, did your mom go grocery shopping? Last time I made her a grocery list and she forgot my favorite ice cream bars. Make sure she gets them this time, okay? Did you invite Chelsea? She didn't tell you? Tell me what? She did me super dirty. I just had to drop her. No way. What happened? You guys are friends for like 10 years. Basically, I was getting ready to post on Instagram. I was going to do a nice little photo dump. And I sent her three selfies of me. The two selfies are gorge. They're like slightly different. But the third one, I decided to edit it super weird. 
basically i made like my eyes go different directions like my lips were super huge just the picture overall looked nothing like me so i decided to send it to her to test her okay and guess what she chose the third picture no way mm -hmm. and then i confronted her i was like chelsea you chose the ugliest picture of me what'd she say she said they all look the same <gasps> mm -hmm. yeah she's dead to me that's crazy so what are you gonna order the slice of pomegranate in there as well no darling it's not pomegranate what do you actually think it is give another guess. Oh, it's a grapefruit yes there we go we need to stop for gas do you mind going in and getting us like a little snack and paying for the gas i'll give you my card yeah sure how much like 10 a hundred no ten ten dollars yeah it's fine ten dollars will fill up half of my tank it takes like 20 bucks to do a full tank so just do half absolutely not i'm not going in there and saying that i want ten dollars worth of gas that is so embarrassing how was that embarrassing? It's gas. You're paying for it. No, they're going to make fun of me. They're going to think it's my car and I'm getting $10 worth of gas. Like, I cannot be seen doing that. My car is from 1987. Like, I literally only need $10 right now. Please just go in, okay? I'm going to pump the gas. You go in and pay for it. Get me a Gatorade and... No, that is so embarrassing. I can't do that. They're all going to point and laugh at me when I say I want $10 worth of gas. They're probably even going to take a picture of me and put it up on the bulletin board behind the cashier. They're going to make it like an inside joke and like point at the picture every time they want a good laugh. And write like, this is the girl that got $10 worth of gas. Absolutely not. You go in and ask for it. Which top do you think I should wear tonight? The gray or the black? They're both really cute. I love them. But do you want to try on that red top that I brought that I decided not to wear? It's super low cut and I have sticky tape for your boobs. It'll like push them up and make them look super good and perky. Do you think I should wear a ponytail tonight or wear my hair down? Mm, I think you should wear a ponytail, but make sure you bring out your little bang pieces. And don't forget to bring a brush because your hair is going to get really tangly really fast. Oh my god, that really cute guy keeps looking over here. Oh my god, he's coming over here. How do I look? Oh my god, you're a little oily around your T-zone. Let me get my powder. Let me smell your breath. Ugh, here's some gum. Let me check your nose. Oh my god, you have a booger. Come here. Here, I also brought some perfume. Wait, let me check for boogers one more time. Okay, you're good. Turn around, let me check your butt. <gasps> oh my god, there's something on your butt. No worries, I brought my jacket with me. I could just take it off and you can tie it around your waist. Okay, you're good. Have fun. If you need me to come save you from the conversation, just hold up three fingers by your thigh and itch your ear twice and I'll be there. Hey girl, can you loan me a couple hundred dollars? Oh my god, are you okay? What's wrong? Why do you why do you need a couple hundred dollars? Don't you have a job? Yeah, no, everything's fine. Um, I do have a job, but see, like, I already spent all my money that I got on Friday. Wait, hold on. Money that you got this Friday? It's Sunday. Girl, I know, okay? Just hear me out. So I really need this new Louis Vuitton purse. It's only 1200 so if you could just loan me that, and then I will pay you back in four paychecks. Okay, I just like really need this bag. Okay, sorry, I'm just a little confused. You are going to pay me back in four paychecks. What are you going to do in those four weeks? Like, are you going to eat? Are you going to pay your bills? Like, how are you going to live? Do you really need this bag? Girl, I just asked for a loan. Like, I didn't ask for you to be all up in my business. And not that it concerns you, but ramen noodles are great. I love them. They're super good, super cheap. And as for paying bills, like, that's just way too grown for me. You know what I mean? Like, that's it's not really my vibe. My vibe is to have fun and look good, not pay bills. But regardless, um, you don't need to worry about that. I will pay you back, most likely. So if I could just have that loan, that would be great. Hey, girl, do you have an extra hoodie? Yeah, of course. I have five in my backseat and also three pairs of sweatpants. You can pick whichever ones you want. Oh, my God, that mountain is so pretty when it's covered with snow. We should go skiing. I have some in my trunk. Jason has to text me back in a few hours. I don't know what to do. I have a fake shrub plant that's five feet tall in my trunk. Um, we could probably just drag it out and then put it by his window and pretend we're bushes and look through his window. Hey, I like you. Yeah, I like you too. Do you want a date? No, ew, that's disgusting. I just want to do everything that people in a relationship would normally do, but I just want to stay friends. Okay, well, I'm going to see other people then. What? I thought you liked me. I do, but you're not ready for a relationship, and I am. But I still want to do everything that people in a relationship do. What don't you understand? I just don't want a label. I don't like labels.
This is your exit. Hey, just double checking. You cleared your calendar for dinner tomorrow night, right? I'm dying to go to that new place. Like, I can't. Oh, sorry. Dinner tomorrow me. Yeah! Okay. Do you want to go swimming? You can borrow my bikini if you want. Oh, wait. I forgot. You have double Ds. What are you doing after work? Besides going to the gym, since you go to the gym every day. So do you want to hang out tomorrow after school? No, I can't. I have a job. Don't you have a job? No, my parents said I'm not allowed to get a job until I'm like 18. What? Why? I don't know. Because my mom thinks that I'm going to be an adult when I'm 18. That's so not fair. Your parents are literally raising you to be a spoiled brat. Like, why would you want to be spoiled when you could just go and get a job and be independent? How do you always have money then? Your parents just give it to you? No. Well, technically, yeah, but I have to do chores around the house. They don't just give it to me. Chores? That doesn't even count. They're basically just giving you money. That's going to make you spoiled. You're always going to depend on your parents. I think you should get a job. I don't know. I don't really want to. See? You're already turning into a spoiled brat. Dude, I just turned 16. Like, what? I'll get a job when I turn 18. It's not that big of a deal. They want me to focus on school. Well, I can still focus on school. My parents made me go to work. Okay, well, that sucks. I'm sorry. Ugh, I hate you. Lily, are you wearing any perfume? You smell so good. Oh, it's actually mine. Yeah, I let her borrow it, so I'll take that compliment. I, like, had to wake her up this morning to tell her to go take a shower because she smelled so bad. Oh, what? I'm kidding. Uh... Lily, what is this song? Your playlist is always so good. Like, technically my playlist because she literally steals all the songs off of my playlist and like calls it her own. No, I know I sent you this song, but like you didn't need to add it to your playlist. You know what I mean? So yeah, it's actually my music. Your makeup always looks so good. I swear like your skin is so flawless. You should see her makeup brushes. They're from like 2007 and she hasn't washed them in like months. Like, Lily does not deserve her perfect skin because she never takes care of it. She like washes her face like once every three days. Lily, I think the waiter has a crush on you. He's been staring at you the entire time. No, he's definitely looking at me. Why would he be looking at Lily? She's literally wearing a giant sweatshirt with a huge hole in the back of it. Oh my god, why are you mad? Lily, I'm just kidding. It was a joke. Oh my god, you're so sensitive. I was just kidding. So how are things with you going? Are you dating anyone? Yeah, so funny that you ask. I actually just started talking to someone. Um, his name's Jason. Jason Smith. Jason Smith? That kind of sounds familiar. Yeah, we went to the same middle school, remember? Oh my god. Oh my god, yeah, how could I forget? He was my gym partner for three years. Oh yeah, he was. I completely forgot about that. That's crazy that you remember that. I mean, how could I forget? You know, we were super close. So, what did you say? You guys were dating or talking or whatever? Yeah, yeah, we actually just started talking a few weeks ago. We went on a few dates. Everything's been really great. He's really sweet. Oh, and you didn't think to ask me for my permission? Permission for what? To talk to him? We were really close. And he made me a promise that if he wasn't married by 30, he would get married to me. Oh, well, I mean, just a minute ago, you didn't even remember his name. That's not relevant. What's relevant is that you're completely going against girl code. The least you could have done is ask me if I was okay with it. I think you're being a little dramatic. I, I can't even tell if you're joking or not. It was middle school and you guys never dated. You were just gym partners. Hey, can you send me the pictures that we took today? Mm-hmm. Sure. I was actually just about to post this one. Oh, hang on. Don't post them yet. I want to look at them first. Why? You look fine. Okay, well, I just want to see them. Okay, here. This is the one I was just about to post. Let me see. Are you joking? Wait, did you show me the right picture? My eye is closed. I think I was mid-wink or blink. Why would you post this? What? I look horrible. Let me see the other ones. Here's one where we both look good. Why wouldn't you just pick this one? Oh my god, you look fine in the other one. Are you joking? Did you see the picture? Did you even look at me? Yeah, you look fine. I look really good, so I wanted to post that one, you know? I don't see the problem. Well, I'm mid-sentence talking here. I'm not even ready for the picture. I'm not even posing. I'm literally speaking, like, mid-sentence. So, you look fine. I look really good, right? Like, look at my skin. It looks flawless. My hair looks good. Well, you look really good in all the other pictures where I'm ready for the picture and posing. Why don't you just post those? Ugh, whatever. Having no ass is really starting to ruin all of my outfits. 
And it doesn't help that all mannequins have BBLs nowadays because like, I, I just can't see what it's gonna look like until I put it on and then I'm horribly disappointed. Okay, your total is gonna be $79.82. Did you wanna sign up for our rewards plan? It'll save you 15% off. Okay, sure, yeah, I wanna save 15% off. Is that gonna be applied on today? Yeah, absolutely. It'll be super quick to sign up too. It'll just be a few questions. Okay. Alrighty, first question, what is your email address? Why do you need my email address? Why would I give you such personal information as an email address? Well, it's where we would send the rewards to. I thought you said I could use it today. Yeah, absolutely, I can apply the reward on today and then future rewards will be sent to your email address. But that's my work email address. I don't, I don't want you sending stuff to my work email address. And no worries at all, so you don't wanna sign up today? I want the coupon. What don't you understand, lady? We can also sign you up with a phone number. Did you want to do that instead? What's up with all these federal questions? Who are you? Who do you work for? I know what you're going to do. You're going to take my information and you're going to sell it. No, no, no. It's not going to work. I don't want to be a part of this, okay? So give me my coupon. Hand it over. Did I tell you about the fight that me and Lily had yesterday? No, you didn't. What happened? It was so preposterous. You're not even going to be able to fathom what I'm about to tell you. Okay, I mean, I definitely understood one of those words, but um, I'm waiting. Go ahead. What happened? So you know how I have that black fur jacket that I always wear? Mm-hmm. Well, I feel like Lily is super envious of it. And yesterday, she went out and deliberately acquired the same exact one. Okay. And like, I'm really trying to keep my composure and stay tranquil, but it's really difficult right now. I swear she tries to mimic my every move. Out of all the jackets that are out there, she had to go and get the same one that I have. That is just super erroneous of her. Girl, I'm having a really hard time trying to understand what you're saying. Can you speak English? Oh, uh, okay, sorry. Yeah, I just got a bunch of books for Christmas, so I'm, you know, working on my vocabulary. But here, let me explain it to you a different way. Lily, copy, me. Not cool. I hate you. Are we still hanging out tomorrow? Yeah, do you want to do around like 5? Yeah, sure. 5 a.m. or 5 p.m.? What? Are you joking? No, I'm serious. Which one do you want to do? Obviously 5 p.m. Oh, okay, yeah. I think I can make that work. That's like pretty late. I normally wake up at like 2.40. 2.40 in the morning? Yeah, I'm a really big morning person. I love to start my day early. Dude, what? What do you even do that early? Well, my morning routine consists of me waking up, doing a 10-step skincare routine, do a brief 15-mile run, I come home, I make myself a protein shake, drink a gallon of coffee, feed all my animals, I usually make myself breakfast, then I go feed the homeless, then I help out at the local animal shelter, I babysit orphans, then once it hits midday around 6am, I'll go on a 20-mile bike ride around the city just to enjoy the views. Afterwards, I usually do some Pilates. I'll knit for a few hours, crochet, come home, I'll cook dinner, I'll feed all my animals again. I'll paint a painting, wind down the night by taking a bath, doing my 80-step skincare routine, and doing a nice little puzzle before bed. 